you guys found yourselves in the Underdark, and Drell was faced with an interview, interrogation, whatever you want to call it based on your own feelings, with his former mentor, Daxon Cranit, and began the session embraced in a hug with his mentor after revealing his true identity. Following up that hug, uh, Drell's interview got really serious, had some weird energy, where the more that Daxon started to push Drell, the more Drell started to lie and started to poorly lie about things involving Yol, things that probably didn't even need to be brought up in the first place, but sort of tipped him off that something was wrong. Upon belie- uh, convincing Drell that he believed him, uh, he called for the next person to come in, in which Drell chose Jin. Jin comes in, attempts to lie through his teeth, also fails at doing so. Daxon sent Jin back out with a warning, almost a threat, that he knows you guys have been lying, that he doesn't know what you're lying about, but that it seems serious enough that he needs you to go choose someone to come in next, and that person is not allowed to lie. That he needs the utmost truth, or there's going to be consequences, and you guys need to fucking leave. And if you choose not to leave, that those consequences would become violent, hostile. So you guys go back. He gives you time to discuss in your little group. Uh, you guys see... I mean, at the time, I think during last session was when Sticky used her hand cannon to blow the chains off her ankles. Uh, and she decided to sneak behind as you guys sent Ben in with the intention of telling the whole truth. Sticky was turned invisible and played shadow to one of the monks that was doing the escorting back and forth. And Ben getting a little like philosophical and like sort of wordy did reveal the truth to Dax and Cranet that Yol was dead. And that not only was Yol dead, but that he was witness to it. And that Drell and Jin who had come before him both knew that. And that this crusade he'd been running was virtually pointless. It took a little bit of convincing to really drive the point home to Daxon that this is the first person who's not lying to him. And while that does sound unbelievably far-fetched, he believes you. He decides to escort Ben out with that monk. I think he ends up leaving that monk behind and escorts you at himself. Takes you guys, takes you and Sticky following behind, still invisible, still stealthing. Back to the rest of the group into Sticky's little makeshift laboratory where full discussion with the group led to an initial plan of him telling you guys to get out and that he'd handle this. That it's his fight, it's his problem, it's his mistake that he made not knowing the true consequences of what happened to Yol and deciding to like take that upon himself. You guys argued that you were sent here to take care of this and that you can't just leave it in someone else's hands. To which he suggested, looking over at Sticky, that uh, there's a little bit of a plan that you guys could put into place to blow up this exit from the Underdark, to take out a massive portion of this army that's being built, which it is in its early stages. You guys haven't really been able to see, like, the full capacity of it, but it is early enough in its stages. Like, this is just one town. They haven't, like, created a full genuine army yet. But that you guys could, with his aid of turning the monks that he believes he can turn back to his side, back to your side, that you guys could set up explosives down here, make the rest of the army none the wiser, get out with some sort of triggering mechanism, and blow the army to smithereens may not get every single member, but it could it could change things. The logistics haven't been figured out. You guys are currently still below in the Underdark. Right now, you're all still in this chamber. Is this plan to have Sticky blow up this portion of the Underdark has been accepted by everyone. For now, Daxon looks to all of you and suggests... While you're down here, you're going to have to play like you're on our side. I know some of you suck at lying. If I need to, like, pretend you're prisoners and put you in, in the building next door just for the next couple days, I'll do that. If you don't trust your ability to maintain your cool 
as we prepare this. I I do believe you, any points to Aphelion, uh, could probably just go back up and guard the gate. Before you guys showed up, no one approached the gate, unless they were here to work for the cause as like mercenaries. So you could go up and guard the gate. If you have anything you guys want to prep upstairs, I can I can assign more of you to, to gate duty or to patrol or to something if that's what you, you think you can do without getting caught. Um, tell me what you need from me as we make this happen. And then, Sticky, I'm going to get you every single supply that we can get you to build as many explosives as you need. Hell yeah. So what do you, you guys need? You gotta setting off a couple of the explosives. You gotta make it like act, you know, you gotta keep the act up, right? Like you can't just, don't set them all off. Oh, I'm, I'm planning on setting them up very openly and very publicly and convincing the army that it's uh, like a self-destruct switch if we were ever to be invaded by the empire. They already oh, know that we're considered a threat. And we have other ways out of the Underdark. As long as I get enough powerful folk to be convinced, then I'm not super worried about setting these things up and having to, like, hide them. Again, as long okay. as I can convince some denizens that are down here, I think the Zealots are going to be the hardest. Have you guys, you guys have met one of those, right? One of the Zealots? Um... Cloaked figures. Yeah. Weirdos. Yeah. Fucking weirdos. I don't know how they were the first ones to approach us, but I'm glad they stay cloaked. That's all I'm saying. Heebie-jeebies. I don't... Ugh. Sheesh, okay. Have you seen them decloaked? No. Imagine tentacles yeah, coming out of your face. Not, but It's not a good look. Flesh-colored and gross and slimy. Ugh. Yeah, not good. Not good. It's like it's like every time they try to like you know shake your hand or something. It's like you're it's like you're shaking hands with a snail. Uh, yeah, it's gross. No. Yeah, it's not great. Um, so who's I? I need to know where you guys want to be stationed for the next couple of days while we prep this. If nobody uh, needs anything from me, I'm glad to head back up. Are you? You're gonna be with the the Goliath upstairs. Yeah, I'll be with Simon. Are we going to need to, you know? Um, I, I mean, I don't think so. Not for Simon. I've been down here for a while. Unless I'm going between the, the, the entrance and the church, I don't know what mercenaries they've hired. I just know that they've brought in men. So, wait, you guys took out the Minotaur, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Um, I guess I'll go through each of you. Uh, and he points over at Ben. Benevolent one, you staying down here or you going back up? Um, I'll stay down here. Okay, I'll find a place for you. Uh, Blood Eyes. Yeah. Staying down here or going up? Mm, I'll go up. I'll go up. I'll do guard okay. duty. Maybe it won't be so Do you want so patrol? Hopefully... Do you want gate guard? Do you want internal patrol? External patrol? What do you want? Gate guard. Okay. That way I can. Do see you guys want me to? If there's more, like, you know. Do you want me to relocate the Goliath, or do you two want to like have three maybe, people? At the maybe gate? I could rub. Maybe I could rub his elbows. Maybe we could convince him with a little bit of money. He could help us out. Hey. Whatever you want, I guess. If you think you can, yeah. just don't get killed up there because we're staying down here. Uh, Winterlight, you're not right. leaving this room. <laughs> unless you disguise yourself again, but you're not leaving this room. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's... that's you that's guys are going to be here, down here for a couple days. If you need like an hour okay. to just go walk around <laughs> yeah. while you're disguised, you can do that. But he's basically saying like, while you're you, you're not fucking leaving this room. I'm disguised right now, though. You are. You are. But he knows it's me. But how many spell slots are you going to use every single hour to keep your That's disguise up? fair. Yeah. That's fair. Um, uh, Mardor, you're clear to go anywhere. Everyone knows here that you're a worshiper. You're good. You sure. can do whatever the fuck you want at this point, I guess. Uh, aye, aye. Don't betray us. 
that I would not dream of it. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> He's really <laughs> suspicious of the fact that you're like an actual Baroxas worshiper. Persuasion? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You guys trust her? Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. <sighs> you, uh, Loxodon, hmm. you came down here as a prisoner. I know that you're with them. No one else knows you're with them. What do you want to do? I guess it would make sense that I stay down here. Do you want to stay in the prison? I can make sure you're taken care of, or do you want us to, like, pretend to indoctrinate you, or...? No, let's do the indoctrination thing. Okay. That's going to take some work, so you're going to be with me uh, in a moment. Uh, Drell. And he, like, takes a pot. Drell, make an inside check. <laughs> You see he like pauses for a moment and there's just just a moment of relief in his eyes that you're alive and that you're okay and that you've surrounded yourself with people that are kind to you. Like it's very very fatherly or almost like big brother energy that he just like is appreciating in that moment that you're good. Oh. Um <laughs> and he goes I everyone of, you know, the monks know of you if not know you directly I mean there have been some changes in the months since you've been gone but they also don't even know that you're you I feel like I'm the only one that knows you're you so yeah. you could uh, walk you... around here being yourself and I bet you could convince enough people that you're part of this but also you really sucked talking to me in there so I don't know do you want to stay down here you want to go up uh, I'll just stay down here unless someone needs me I guess Okay, is there something specific you're going to be doing down here? Are you going to be helping Sticky make bombs? I'll, Are you going I'll to be... help Sticky. Okay. I'll, I'll so you need to from you need to play alchemist around here. If anyone starts talking to you about supplies you need, like you need to know what you're talking about. Sticky, I need you to yeah. keep him informed on like what you're going to be using so that he knows what to say to people if they were to ask him. Okay. So Bye. you just want me to make sure that he just stays out of trouble? I mean, he can help you if you think that he has the assets to be able to help you. I just need you to make sure that if he's going to be, you know, even under the illusion of helping you, that he knows what, what he's I... talking about. Okay. Okay. I, I can make that work. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I'm going to need a, a, a lot of test subjects, too. So I hope you don't mind if you like, you know, help me out with that as well. What? Okay. Sticky. Eye contact. No blowing yes. up drill. What? Okay, but Wait, what about uh, we just need we just need to make sure that it's gonna work a little bit. He's covered in really hard scales. You see that wall fine. right there? And he points to the wall opposite of the door. Yes. Make as big a hole as you want, I don't care. Okay. That's your test subject. I'm just gonna have a <laughs> toss 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 something at the wall. <laughs> Like that? <laughs> was it an explosive? What are you throwing at the wall? Yeah, it was an explosive. You just have one on you? Yeah. <laughs> roll a uh, roll. Roll a d20 plus your dexterity modifier. <laughs> all right, all right. A 13, roll me 2d8. Ooh. Oh wait, what's your dexterity mod? Do you have a dexterity modifier? Uh, I do. Uh, it's plus two. Okay, so 15, and then 2d8. Seven. You make a like a, a good like bowling ball sized hole in the wall, just turning, chucking a grenade, and just like, there's like bits of like dirt flying at you guys, but not enough to be a problem. And it just yeah, like that. 
that that works. We're gonna need bigger stuff than that. It needs to collapse this place. Even bigger. Yeah, that was nothing compared to what we need. You tell me the supplies, I'll make it happen. Okay. I'm just gonna have her start like literally scribbling yeah. furiously on a piece of paper, but again, she doesn't have. <laughs> Did I miss anyone? Pencil. To be clear, uh, first of all, can I get names? So benevolent one, blood eyes, name? Jin. Uh, uh, blue boy vines. Drell. Oh yeah. shit. No, not Drell. He like looks at you like with like a little disappointment. <laughs> like, come on. Bro. <laughs> Affilion? Okay. Uh I know Marador, okay. I know Sticky. Uh obviously I know Winterlight. And then Benevolent One, do you want me to just call you the Benevolent One, or do we want to keep that on the down low while you're down here? Um just call me Ben. Ben, got it. Okay. Uh Loxodon, you want to be indoctrinated your name? Kilo. Kilo. Like the like the unit of measurement? Is it like a is that like a nickname? Is that like a joke? Like you weigh a kilo or something? It's it's short for my my whole for his name. So it's not okay. So it is a nickname, but it's not a nickname in that way. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm glad you're not named after your size. That'd be kind of cruel. Uh so uh what wouldn't it be? Would that not be mean if someone like named it's you after wrong. how much you weighed or something? I want to know the history of uh, the the kilogram in this world, Corey. <laughs> it exists. It there exists. There you go. <laughs> Look, maybe spelled different. I mean, it'd be like the history of the pound. Why is it pounds? You know, or you know, why is yeah. it feet? It's just, instead of yeah, why is it five it. feet of movement yeah. instead of you know meters? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. It was the king's. <laughs> it's really what? bullshit. Well, <laughs> like why? Red I mean. Is named why is red red? You know what I mean? Like it's just, Tolkien well, has custom. No, no, no. Okay, no. Why is red red like... is a different one. I'm talking like when you say that something is like when you have 30 feet of movement speed. Why are we using like American? Well, no, but that's of... like a meta thing, right? Like I think like right. the weight of like your inventory and like whatever and like like the spells being able to do something specifically within a, a weight limit is like a meta thing. Mm. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's meta. We just, it's easier. I'm not going to make up units of measurement. That's kind of lame. Yeah, yeah. Take me way too long to care <laughs> about and then remember. Um, so, uh, Jin, Aphelion, you two are going up. Everyone else is staying down? Yeah. Hi. I guess, because yeah, I, I was told so. I can't leave the room unless I'm disguised. Unless you want to go I mean, up and keep yourself disguised yourself, up there. Yeah. Do you want to, like, leave the town? No. If you could disguise yourself long enough to leave. I mean, can't you just put I mean, I can do disguise skit? I, listen, he, I'm he can paint sure himself. Gonna he can paint himself blue. however he wants. Those wings are not gonna look. Yeah, they're gonna notice the big fucking blue wings. Listen, we we might be working with a lot of denizens of the Underdark. We have not oh. had dealings with demonic entities that would have those kinds of wings. And if he were to try to portray that sort of thing down here, he'd probably get questioned real hard as to his yeah, presence. Freak out. Probably yeah, so. Dead. Unless that you have a way to like fair. pretend like the wings are fake and you're that talented of an artist and like you just walk around with some weird glider for some reason. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if you're going to stay disguised down here, you also not to need to watch where you walk. If someone walks a little close to you and they get hit by a wing or goes to like pat you on the back or I something. Keep, I keep them tucked. I keep them okay. tucked. Okay. I just, I'm making sure. Right, we can't have this going on. You haven't read in room yet, have you? You haven't the left this room. Well, you came in to... Yeah, I didn't, like, I didn't, like, squeeze by you specifically. We walked into the... Whatever. Okay. Uh, two of you that are going up, do you need an escort? Can either of you see in the dark? Uh, I can see in the dark, but he oh. cannot. Do that you feel confident lead. leading him, or do you want an escort? I don't really know. Is there a lot of twists and turns in here? Like, could we get lost? Oh my god. It's just up the stairs. Were you, was, did you close was, your eyes on the way down here? <laughs> it's a singular path. Just double checking. I don't know. I mean, this thing's going to have to hold turnoffs. Okay. Do you, just. I got it. If it's just straight up, okay. it's just straight up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you afraid so, of the dark? Outside of the RP, no. because we are going to do some timey wimey skippy bullshit. The two of you are going up. Mm -hmm. Over the next. Actually, I'm going to have B. I need you to roll me. Give me a D100. What? 
Okay. I need you to give me... Those of you who are staying down... Before we go back to B, those of you who are staying down here, specifically Drell, because you're helping out, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. G Drell, give me a... Intelligence check. Mm, I'm great at that. You chose to stay around to help. <laughs> oh hey! my god! Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. You said you were good at it. Why are you surprised? So, so Drell, Drell, interestingly enough, the party has spent the better part of the last few months attempting to try to get you to understand things, but none of them have come at it the way that Sticky can. <laughs> And it takes no. someone with like intense ADD, takes, takes ADHD to, no to help someone with intense ADD, ADHD to understand the, the like you've, you feel have felt dumb it's for so long. Friends. You felt dumb for so long, Drell. The way that Sticky is just pulling pieces of paper out, scribbling shit. You're like, oh, I get that. And then she moves that one aside and like, okay, moving on. And then she pulls out another one and starts drawing something. And then you like, you start crazy. throwing ideas and you've been fucking with dynamite and fire for so long oh that you god. got ideas. Oh god. And Sticky, best friends. <laughs> Sticky and Drell together come up with a way. Sticky yes! make a Sticky also make an intelligence check for me. This is just going to be like a combined how well Don't fuck your this bombs up. are. Don't fuck this up. A 20. Oh, good. Yeah. 30, you guys, 20. you guys oh, after god. I'd say after I'd say about uh Sticky roll me a d4. After t it takes two days, two full days of you two just like staying in this room and just scribbling shit and like like throwing ideas out and and just testing shit by chucking it at the wall. Which Drell, you've <laughs> been like, they banned you throwing. from like throwing dynamite and shit and starting oh. fires. You've been given free reign to just fucking blow shit up in this room, so which is great. Uh, <laughs> so you two go at it for two full days before finally, in front of both of you, is this. It's it's like. You've created, you know what? What kind of explosive appearance would the what what would what you two create have? I feel like it'd look like a keg. Little kegs? Yeah. I would say so, yeah. I would say there's like a keg, but because Sticky can't help herself and she likes to make things look quote unquote pretty, mm -hmm. um, I imagine that there would be uh you know how like on kegs they have the metal rim around it yeah. mm. um she's probably got like some kind of like spikes or like something sticking out of it so they look kind of like somewhat dangerous yeah <laughs> so are these full and size also kegs? She's painted faces on all of them hang on hang on can we have some flavor real quick for you yeah <laughs> <laughs> sticky, sticky. Listen, they don't need yeah. faces. Like they're gonna yeah. explode. Yeah. They're gonna. They're okay. gonna. They don't need to look menacing. Like no, but they do because they imagine like you go in and then if you have a face on it, then people are gonna be like, oh wow. Like if we do like a really innocent face on it, that doesn't have to look menacing. And then people are just gonna assume that we've just brought in a new friend. They think I'm crazy enough to have a new friend anyway that I would paint a face on. They'll be like, oh sticky, you crazy son of a bitch. You're just going this around makes making so much more sense, friends. Dude. This makes a lot you, really, of sense. you really think that that's gonna work, though? Yes, I think it will work. Cause if I pin faces on them, I'd be like, "No, these things are just my new friends," and they're gonna be like, "Okay, yeah, that's sticky. fucking weird, sticky, but whatever." And I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, that's right." You are one crazy son of a bitch, you know. That, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so this is a full size like smuggling cake? aspect that makes so much sense. But it's a no, full size cake. Like I feel like it'd be like the size right. of like a football. No. Okay, so fo bunch of football size kegs. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's like those little Heineken kegs that you can run around with. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so what yeah. happens is you guys start mass producing these. Like, they're wheeling in fucking barrels of supplies for you guys to make these. Uh, I'm going to have Marador, Valxis, and Ben make each make a deception check. This is like a group deception for you guys being down here. I'm good at those. Wow. 
<laughs> nice, 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 nice. Good shit. Just waiting for Mardor. We're making up. We're making up for last week. Dude, last week was fucking crazy. Yeah, good. Get them all up the before the combat, guys. Abysmal numbers. Whoa! <laughs> Shut hey, up, whoa! Corey. Don't say that. Hey. Yes. Hello. We're not Hello. your enemy, man. Yes. Oh my god, of, of course, as soon as I have to go pee. Oh, okay. I just need a deception <laughs> check from you. Oh, she had to tinkle. Okay. <laughs> I had to pee pee. Okay, uh, deception. 13. Okay. Uh, Mardor gets a little wrapped up in just kind of watching you two be chaotic. Uh, Valxus and Ben, you guys are tasked with the distribution process and with the distribution process, being able to convince the people that are down here that you guys just storing these kegs in places with little fucking painted on faces is just like, dude, we were told they were weapons or what? I don't know. How would you guys, how would you guys convince the people down here that you placing these things in random places are, Friends. are okay. Uh, look, look, guys, look, I, I understand there, there's supposed to be lights for the people upstairs. Uh, you know, some of them up here don't have, you know, good night vision, dark vision. So they, you know, they're just lights. It's just, it's just for them. Don't, you don't got to worry too much about them. They're lights? These are kegs with painted faces. I don't think they're glowing. Are they glowing? Did you guys say they were glowing? Did I miss that part? You can make them no. glow. <laughs> you can make them glow. I can make them glow. Do we want to... <laughs> paint is glowing. Uh, they're just, they're they're just, the uh... ones that you're putting down right now are going to like a sort of like a mess hall area. And there's a group of, uh, there's a Duergar and two drow who are sitting at a table. One sec, Artemis wants to come back inside. I hate the goddamn fact that this dog is awake. Uh, we, say, we, say, <laughs> we say that they are here for uh, decorations. I don't know. I have no, I have no. So, they're sitting down at a line. table. They got like a, a, a bowl of just slop in front of them and they see you putting down those kegs and one of them goes boy they're kind of cute are these like little friends for us um did the weird girl make them say yes say yes say yes absolutely devious behavior okay so and he looks at, this is the doer guard talking he looks over the two drow and he goes the lady who made those She's supposedly making weapons for the bigger picture. And that means we shouldn't fucking touch those because I I heard that she blew up four people last week. <laughs> and I don't I don't want to die. So 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 he just if you if you see those little smiley face, you're sure she made them. Uh I, I watched her build them. Fuck, they have handlers on her now. Okay, uh, so we shouldn't fucking touch those. And no, you kind of, you kind of grab Vaxus that like these guys are gonna start spreading it around that like, yo, stay as far away from the piles of little friendly face oh. kegs because you don't want to die. <laughs> they look great. Don't touch them. Uh, Ben, you start uh distributing them sort of near like, more of like, the structures. Like, uh, yeah, I'm definitely like load bearing calling beams. on, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. calling on my years of like helping towns build and stuff like mm. that. Figuring make out, a, like, okay, make what a, is this is, I'm gonna say a no recall allowed. Make like a, I'm gonna say either history or investigation. A 10. Please. I mean, wait, it's wait, not hard wait. to find a. I can uh, sorcery use point magical out. guidance. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're gonna get your shit back anyways. Everyone's gonna be able to <laughs> full long rest before whatever actually kicks off. <coughs> Sixteen. Better. Okay. Uh, yeah. You you've helped. You used to help people build houses like a hundred years ago, two hundred years ago. You know what load bearing beams look like. You understand what supports look like. You just start like decorating them around and. Hell yeah. You you notice one that you give off a vibe of like, don't talk to me. <laughs> On top of that, like not that you would use your form of dread, but your capacity to use the form of dread, really off putting. And then Valxus having mm. talked to the people in the like the mess hall area, words gotten around that these little piles of things people need to stay steer clear of, but not that they're a threat. You guys have seemingly 
kept the populace believing that there's nothing going on here. Um, Wait, Marador. Form of Dread? Don't you have Form of Dread? Not Form of Dread. What's your thing that can make people scared of you? Oh. Uh, something. Eyes. I thought it was scary. Oh, uh, 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 unsettling presence. presence. Yeah, unsettling presence. That's what it is. Not your form of dread. Form of dread's a, uh, uh, I believe it's a uh, type of warlock or type of sorcerer thing that you don't have. Um, or a different type of ra race thing. I don't know. Um, Marador, you, after watching Sticky and, and Drell create these things, you aren't really taking part in like the distribution of them the way the other two are instead your talents are being used one to walk around with kilo because you two are now like you've your presence around kilo has shown that he has been indoctrinated and it, no one would approach you to question why this prisoner is free and walking with you because if he's walking with you that means he's part of whatever this is however the two of you specifically and you guys can handle this however you'd like, are tasked by Dax and Granite to work with him or on your own, your choice, to convince the more humanoid, non-denizen of the Underdark, like the other monks and stuff, that there's okay, a, like the so, that there's too? something happening. Well, the mercenaries are upstairs. That's gonna be something oh. I'm gonna get to you and Affiliate okay. for. Uh, okay. The mercenaries, you guys, while you guys are down here, and the two of yeah. you went up, you wouldn't know this because you guys have, I'm going to have you guys have been upstairs for multiple okay. days. Uh, but while those of you who are downstairs, you recognize that like no one that's down here is, is hired help. The people who are allowed into the Underdark, into this like main headquarters are not the ones being paid to like guard the town. These are people who are part of the cause. Um, now you two, like I said, are being tasked with convincing the monks and those who pilgrimaged out here for Yol reasons that Yol is dead and that they need to fight on the right side. And if they give an inkling that they're not going to, you take care of them in a way that doesn't let them be seen. So I need both of you to roll me uh, persuasion checks. I'm going to have Dax and Roland as well. Uh, can it also, uh, does it need to be persuasion or can it be uh, You are convincing, you're using persuasion because you're, can. oh, you could intimidate. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nice. You guys, Thanks, you guys baby. don't really run into resistance. Dax and sort of as someone walking around with you and Mardor, you being seen as this. And the thing is, is there are people down here, Mardor, that have seen you before and people you've seen before. Denizens of the Underdark who were down at, in some part of the Underdark when you made your pilgrimage below the surface. Um, you don't know them well, but you've seen them before and they've seen you and you are scary. So... <laughs> When it comes to you, Daxon, and Kilo, this, you know, force, this trio, going around and having one-on-one -on -one conversations with random people, questions aren't asked. And you trust that those who are switching sides are on your side. Um, most of them are, are told to escape, to leave. That they're being so they all get sent up in a group because of you guys. Uh, there are a lot of like clerics who came who now that they're not working with Baroxis are gonna lose their power. Uh, that when it comes down to a fight, they're not gonna be able to defend themselves. And they're sent with word to inform specifically Aphilion and Jin upstairs that they need to be let go. And you guys, there would be like signs for you guys to be able to convey that. I would say, roll me a Roll me, one of you two can roll me a d100. You choose. Nose goes. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> what the hell you do this? Uh, slash roll like space. Well, one d100 or just d100. A 28. Um, I would say you guys get a couple, uh, two dozen, two dozen folk who are going to be leaving 
on top of that, another, I, 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 yeah, two dozen and then four. Four monks who are going to be fighting, at least are, are on your side and are capable enough that they'd be able to assist uh, when it comes down to it. The monks, as people who normally escort up and down, are the ones that are taking the other two dozen, the 24, out. And they're the ones that are leaving or leading this group of people that are going to just be set free. Um, one, as a whole group, all of you, is there anything, any kind of message, any kind of something you want to leave with this group of people that are going to be leaving Jolheim? Anywhere you want to try to convince one of them to go and deliver any messages or do anything, or do you just want to have them go on their way? Maybe they would um, like to crystal. If any of you like go to like a fancy town, give an update to me a saying that we're gonna no, cause really some, <laughs> that we're gonna probably uh, cause some big. I will say danger. it's very bold of you to assume that one of them is gonna get to Mistal before you guys blow this shit to smithereens, because you're doing that within a couple days, and it takes a couple yeah, weeks true. to get back to Hedron. Um, and you could probably just do that with a sending spell. That is true. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like, if not, you can just send them on their way. Uh, B, there's, there's this this one gnome gnomish woman, a little older in years, who seems to have been of a of a clerical persuasion, who, as you've been here, never saw her before, but she seems very very lighthearted, and she says. Uh, of course. Uh, yeah, I can. I can have someone bring you cake. Why cake? Do you want it to? If you're, uh, we've heard you're blowing this place up. Do you want it down here, or should we have a tavern have a cake ready for you? Or, um, yeah, get get ready in a tavern, and um, I want a cake because um, I heard that you have cake on your birthday, and <sighs> I want to have cake. Oh, well, Aww. happy birthday, dear. I'll make sure that whatever tavern I end up at first has a cake prepared for you. I won't know how to tell you what tavern, but if you ever make it there, just just, just tell them that uh, that the, the, the priestess of Yol said that she would set up a cake for you, and I will make sure that okay. that is, is with the tavern owner and I. Uh, do you have money to pay for a cake? Um, here, uh, let me check in my bag. Okay. So have a run over. Do I have any money? Actually, I don't know. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> I just think I do. Maybe I'll do you think? Do things. you think that that Dad would have given you some money on the way out? Uh, yeah, he might have. It's just a matter of would she have. You can add twenty five <laughs> gold to your inventory and okay. give her as much as you want for this cake. Okay, she doesn't understand, so probably the whole thing. Okay, you have you you can add twenty five gold to your inventory and then immediately get rid of it. Uh. <laughs> She was, oh, uh, okay, but this, wow. is, this is, um, this is quite a lot. I'll make sure there's multiple cakes for you, dear. Uh, multiple cakes? Yeah, many cakes for you and all your friends. What's okay. your name? She, she, she goes, she goes, I, uh, dearie. I don't want you to know who I am to be able to follow me because as much as I'm willing to get this cake for you, you seem very dangerous and I am, am moving to a more peaceful life and I okay. don't want loose ends. So I'm going to keep that to myself, um, but I will have the cakes ready. Uh, thank so you. So that Corey doesn't have to come up Okay, I'm going to have her hug her. <laughs> And then be like, thank you so much. I've never had a cake before. So every time I go, I'll say, the little lady said there's cake for sticky. The sticking. priestess of Yol is who you're looking to okay. say. Because if you don't say the that. The little then... lady of the priestess of Yol has cake for me. Sure, dearie. Yes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and they go. Jin uh, and Aphelion. You guys Ooh. at the gate. Oh, um boy. Simon's standing there. He goes, I'm a little confused why we need three guys, but I guess if one of you stood on the other one, that'd be like the yeah. height of the Minotaur, so I guess that's fair. But Or we're like, you know, us next to each other, we're a Minotaur wide. <laughs> okay, so, right. You know what I mean? Um, Depends no, you're right. If there's two, two of you next to each yeah. other... 
or yeah. on top of each other, you're like, yeah. We're filling yeah. up the space. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a cool sword you got. Thank you, thank you. I, I like your... <laughs> she got yourself there. What was what, that? Oh, little... just my spear, and he pulls it out of the ground oh, and, like, yeah. twirls it. And just like a... Hold on. Okay, he does like a little fucking okay. spin with it, like and it looks like a sick. Flourish? Yeah. yeah, full flourish, yeah. and it ends, and then he does it back until he sticks it back in the ground. And he goes, "Yeah, it's pretty fun." That is, yeah, no, that's talented. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, that is. Yeah. I don't really have anything like that. I could, I could maybe, maybe spin a card on my finger. I don't think I oh, could do anything card. like that. Do you that. have cards? Let me. weren't, weren't you hacky sacking with Drill? He was, but Drell has the hacky sack. Drell has many hacky sacks. Jin does not have any cards on him. Yeah, many sacks to hacky. Exactly, exactly. So, are you two? Are you two going to attempt to convince this Goliath to fight on your side when it comes to it? Yeah. Okay. Sure hope so. Yeah. I need you guys to tell me one how you're going to convince this guy. We'll role play it out, and then I'll have you guys roll persuasion checks. I, I think Jin's idea is that the mutual ground they share mm. is that they were both mercenaries. Right. And he's just going to kind of try and gauge, you know, if we could just buy this guy out of here. You know, we're only here for a little bit longer. The week's almost up. Mm -hmm. If he would want to come with us. So he goes, okay, well, so they gave me, and he pulls out a pouch, this much, right? And, like, obviously, I go to the highest bidder. So... Right, yeah, I would too. What what uh what mercenary guild you run with? By the way, I didn't catch that. What's a guild? Not like a like a group, like a company. <laughs> Wait, there's companies that do this? Oh yeah, that's that's how I got my start out. Oh no, I just go places and then people pay me to do stuff. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. But when I couldn't find work, I was with a company for a bit, and well, then you'd kind of get I picked guess, up and you'd do like I big guess, jobs. Granted, it's yeah. Me and Jerry did stuff, but now he's dead. So, and we killed this man's best friend. You and Jerry, you guys were like close, or just like mm -hmm. colleagues? No, uh, Jerry actually. Um, make a make a. <laughs> we're to get to know this guy. I'm gonna have him make an insight check. Fair. And I'm gonna have you make a persuasion check. This is just gonna be like a, a like a comfortability check, like how much this dude dishes out information to you. A fourteen. Uh, he rolled a six, so I guess you're good. Uh, and he goes, he goes. Well, so Jerry, well, I met Jerry at a city to the north, uh, 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 all the God City one, the one up there. And he had a brother who works yeah. with a church, and he was fighting in this big arena fight. And we went to go watch the fight, and then the the opponents chickened out. They didn't even fight. So really? so then so then we were like, well, fuck. <laughs> Right? So we were like, fuck, well, he well, fuck won. Me. His, his yeah. brother won. We didn't think he was going to win. Now he's some some big champion of a church, and he's got to stay there in the city and do all this god stuff. So then we were like, well, fuck, what are we going to do with our time? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, we were escorting some people. Some people wanted to travel away from the city, and they were like, we'll pay you. You're big. And aren't you that guy's brother that they were so scared they didn't fight him, so you must be tough too, they said to Jerry. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll go along. I got nothing else going on and then so yeah. we just kept getting paid to walk places with people i've never I've, you know since we started doing this i haven't even had to fight someone really i mean i can fight someone i have I know, fought I people before i'm someone saying since i've had it. to do like, this yeah. i haven't had to fight someone and that jerry that fucking elephant guy killed jerry so fast like i walked yeah. away and came back and jerry was dead so like i don't know what they're doing with him down below but he must be fucking terrifying. That is, yeah. I mean, he you could be a real like beast of a person. You know, I mean, really strong. Yeah. You walk away for five minutes, and a person that you've known for weeks, <laughs> like at least a few weeks, if not a couple months. And that's a traveling partner. You yeah. Know? I, I mean, yeah. and he and I, we came. Listen. So just between you guys and yeah. I, yeah. we yeah. came from the Battle Forge range. Right, we had wiped out a whole group of these bird guys, and then we saw some of the birds flying away, and we decided we're gonna be the heroes, and we're gonna go get them. 
and then they were too fast and we didn't get them and that's how and that's how we wound up at the religious place and then we were like oh is it your brother from here and then you know the whole story i right. just told you yeah okay so the battle you guys are from the battle forge range that's pretty well, yeah, into... you know, it's, yeah. it's a it's a fighting place. I grew up fighting. We were told that the yeah. birds, that the bird people want the mountain, and we want the mountain, and we got to fight to get the mountain, and then and then we just don't, we didn't. Couldn't probably, get the mountain. Probably should have gone back. You think He's starting to have like this back? existential moment of like, did I abandon my post? <laughs> he just like didn't you, clock. You, you miss it? You want to go back to? Um. Like, well, you know, I mean, I I didn't get paid, and I couldn't drink my weight in beer, and right. I can do whatever I want now. So I guess, I guess this is better. But so, so yeah, I just you know I go with whoever makes me the most money, and like these guys are weird. Um. But yeah, I mean, you guys got paid as much as I did. I mean, why are you guys trying to do something? I just, I don't really, I'm just not that committed to this place, you know what I mean? Like, we're kind of here right yeah. now doing the work, and then once the money's good, you know, I mean, you know how it goes. I mean, they're killing people here, yeah. and I'm starting to wonder, like, how long is this going to go on before, like, you know, they start killing, someone like, gets involved? Here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, they keep talking about this boxes guy, and I'm like, fucking, yeah, right. I was yeah. just dealing with a religion thing, and now there's another religion thing, and they got uh, these weird yeah. creepy crawly guys, and like, I stay out guys? here, I'm, I'm on the outside of the gate. What, what do you think of the... <laughs> just... Don't do that. It's creeping me out. Sorry. Stop it. Sorry, I, know. I don't like them, and if one of them got a little close to me, I would probably swing. <laughs> Jin just rocks back and just is like, hmm, okay. I would say that this is conversation happening over a couple days. Yes. And at this point, after, like, at this part of this conversation, uh, there's, like, a, a, a call out from uh, a couple monks. Hey, open the gates. We have some uh, people leaving. It sounds a little not convincing, but you guys quickly peek inside and you see that group of two dozen folk with a couple monks uh, walking towards the monks are in the front uh, leading the charge and uh, Simon goes what, what are you doing he said they're leaving we gotta open the gates and he just grabs oh, okay yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah opens it wow you are well, really strong man you are wow yeah well you know own. it's part of the bear it kind of like keeps me ripped yeah <laughs> <laughs> Also, the, the hold on, you two, real yeah. quick. Mm -hmm. You ever yeah. had, like, a weird dream where you get sent to, like, space? What do you mean? Well, like, so when you guys got here the other That's day. That's very specific. Yeah. Right, you guys got here the other day, and then, and then yeah. I was talking to you guys, and I turned and I looked quick towards the center of town, and suddenly, I was fucking floating in space. It was like... When the, was there like a giant moon up in the sky? What, what did you see? Or just, just well, no, she was like pretty colors, and I was like floating, and I was weightless. I thought I was tripping on drugs. You guys didn't drug me, did you? No, no, no. no if, okay. if anything, that's for me. I would use that for myself. That sounds like a good it was thing. quite the ride, let me tell you. Yeah, uh, better than drinking your weight, huh? Yeah, well, and at this point, just like all the people are walking by, he seems to not give a <laughs> shit. Like the monk said, let them go, so they're going. You, uh, you're not. This is interesting. There's a pack of monks leaving. What's going on here with this? Uh, the monks aren't leaving. The monks led the group of the 24 oh, people, the and then the monks are staying. Oh, okay. And the people have left. Uh, I, I don't ask questions. I just get paid. They say, the monks say, open the gate, let them go. I open the gate, let them go. If you want to start asking questions, that's on you. <laughs> that's on you. Well, you know, I, I know we go where the money goes, so I'm just kind of curious. Like, if, What if they ask you like the wrong question? You know what well, I mean? Like, which, uh, I mean, whatever they ask, as long as it's going to make me money and keep me alive, I guess. Why, you guys? You're being weird. What you got, what you keep saying? Because, like, the creepy crawly things are really freaking me out. I don't know if I want to stick what, around. What, you trying to... The nights are getting weird. I mean, if you want to go, d d the open world's right there. Go. You have your money, right? Yeah. That's true, I couldn't I just, go. you know, I'm, I mean, they're, they're going to keep paying me. This is dedicated income. But what if I knew someone who could pay you more? Okay, I'm listening. 
Yeah, someone I know, he, he's he got a good chunk of money. We just gotta get out of here. Okay, so am I gonna get paid if I say, hey, go ahead, leave with the rest of them right now? No, sir. Okay, can I trust you, Simon? I feel like the past couple of days we've been well, hanging I, out, having, I having would. some drinks, you know, holding this door. No I would better hope person so. to look at a wall than anybody listen, like you. Listen, listen. You and me, and he does like a thing where he like he like hits you, hits himself, but he hits yeah. you a little harder than you expect. Oh, yeah. He goes, <laughs> you and, and me, and, and, and he goes, oh. and you, and you, and he's pointing yeah. at Philly, and he goes, we're, we're brothers in this. We're okay? like the three musketeers of this. What's door. that? What's I don't know. It just what's a musketeer? Right. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> three musketeers. Yeah. <laughs> So what are we, uh, so what's, what's the deal? How, am, how am I making this money? Are you? Listen, I'm it... going to give you this and Jin hands over two gold to keep quiet. Okay. You know, they're paying me a hundred a week. So it's, we're, start, know, we're just at just a start. A, that's uh, like at least, just, just, that's at least 6%. I know, but this is just to the start of the conversation. So you don't share. Right. This I'm not sharing. No, listen, this is, this is between... a no sharing fee. Me, me, kusa, you, kasa. Yep, that's yeah. exactly all that said. <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's going on? What do you explain to him? Uh, well, Jen is gonna lean over to Aphelion to take over here. Jen just did all the schmutz and the the, the business. <laughs> Aphelion, to I'm gonna to say point. just to like get mm -hmm. you guys going. Uh, give uh, you guys can you can make an a. Uh, uh, an advantage persuasion check because the two of you are working together in this conversation to convince the Goliath that something's about to go down and that he can, that you guys can outpay him if he sticks around to fight with you. Oh yeah. We know an empire. <laughs> Plus one persuasion. We know a win That is a 12. <laughs> a 12? Persuasion at advantage. He rolled a two and he goes, okay. 18. Big, big talk. Well, the persuasion was just, it was him because you're helping him that he got the- Oh, gotcha, sorry. Yeah, oh, okay. Sorry. So real quick, how much money are you offering him? Hey, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to mind two, like So to... two weeks worth for one fight? Yeah. Easy. <laughs> okay, you tell me when it's going down. For now, we have to pretend <laughs> to be good guards. That's right. No, the, we, are, the... we are good guards. We are good we are guards. Great, You're no, right. We're good guards. We're <laughs> great yes. guards. Yes. We're great guards. Yes. We're free musketeers. Yeah. <laughs> of the door. Yeah. Of the door. We're the free door musket musketeers. The greatest doormen do exist. Exactly. <laughs> uh, you guys send word back with the monks that the Goliath's on your side. Um, took two days to make all the explosives. During that two days all of the people that you thought you could save have been saved and set free. You have four monks plus Daxon who are going to be on your side. You have the Goliath who's going to be fighting beside you. How are you guys setting off these explosives without being down there while they go off? That's a sticky and drill mm. question. What's your, what's your trigger it's... mechanism for all the explosives? And also, since two days have gone by, I'm guessing we've gotten long rests in. Everyone's going to be change. able to full... The day of all of this, you guys are going to be able to full long rest, set your spells, do whatever. Okay. Looney Tunes fuse. Just all the way down the hall. Uh, let me... <laughs> hold on. Let me take a look at something real quick. That's a long fuse. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, that's, that's what I was thinking. That's the only thing I'm familiar with. <laughs> um, well, I mean... Hold on. I want to see if I can if you... do... Do something here. Wait, 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 wait. I think I have an idea of what you could do, but I want to see what you come up with. I know that I have the... Shit. <laughs> feels so silly. Wait, so, wait, wait. I, I do... I'm gonna check something in your in your character because there's something uh, I think I'm you literally could... looking through because I thought, hold on, I'm gonna DM you, I'll DM you. I have two ideas that you could accomplish. Could I move quicker than the explosion? I, like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you cannot. That is not something you have the capability of doing. 
<laughs> yeah, I have two options for you, B, if you're going to be the one to set it off. Okay, I think I might. Yeah, okay. You, you can't tell me do what that the options yet. Are. Okay, I'm going to say them out loud. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Because why not? Um, so one of them, again, I'm giving you like plot power right now because outside of this, you being able to create explosives is not really part of your no, repertoire. Um, you can either put your Eldritch Cannon because you can put it on the ground. You know, you can summon it within five feet of you and then it stays until your long rest uh, unless it takes damage. So like there's nothing stopping you from using it as long as you're within 60 feet technically, but we're gonna, again, plot power. Um, so if you wanted to do your, your Eldritch Cannon with the Flamethrower, yeah, it is a tiny be being. One. You can plop it down. It'll blow up one and then trigger to the rest. You guys place them in a way that blow up one set. All of them will go. The yeah. other way is if you were to use... um, What is your homunculus' name? <laughs> Skittle. Skittle. You <laughs> can cast spells through Skittle. And you have Scorching Ray. So you could cast Scorching Ray through Skittle. Because Skittle could be resummoned. Oh my god. And Skittle could set off all the explosions while you guys are on the surface. You're a hero, Skittle. You're a fucking hero. Oh, I think I would probably go with... Uh, I'd probably go with Skittle. Because the cannon... My only concern with using Skittle is that if Skittle blows up, you don't have the fire opal anymore. <laughs> Oh shit, of course. Yeah, yeah. fuck. Uh, so. Okay, then now we'll do uh, the cannon. That makes the most sense then, right? Yeah. And then I, I would just give you your ability to summon the cannon back afterwards, but it's yeah, for flavor. Yeah, yeah, it's how yeah. you guys are setting it off. Because I could just say, oh, they give you guys enough fuse gunpowder to go all the way up and then just psh, and wait 20 minutes for it to get to the bottom. Um, but that's more fun. So, everyone, put yourselves through a long rest. Set your spells. Take a moment to prepare. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. <laughs> I have to pee. Uh, and you guys can decide how you want to set off this explosive. I mean, she can tell you. She's already told you. Uh, but I'm assuming the rest of you are going up. But I'll give you guys a moment. If there's anything you guys want to talk about amongst each other, about the plan. Um, but then we'll just skip to you guys are on the surface, outside. Actually... While I'm gone for a brief moment, find out how you guys are getting the people who are upstairs that aren't mercenaries down to be part of the explosion. Oh, oh that's so easy. I just wanted to, for him to take his headphones off. We just tell him there's a fucking meeting down here. And <laughs> <laughs> you're all going to believe it? Kind of cult worshipping kind of thing. Yeah, it's a fucking yeah, cult worshiping kind of thing. We tell them that yeah, there's a big like a meeting in the mess hall. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, there's meeting and there's like pizza and like you know, yeah, pizza. all kinds yeah. of cool stuff. Pizza. Just like really, just shit you'd love to just spend time around for like a long almost time. expired yeah. like fruit snacks too. We're having a cookout. We're yeah. having a yeah. we're having a we're having a, a big old church gathering and we're uh we're uh, you just need to go down to uh uh. uh Meeting yeah. room 1A, and then it's right there. It's all going to be there. It's, it's all, all just there. filled with those barrels of smiley faces. You should have stayed away from these barrels. Those kegs. Mm. Uh. Yeah, you know, it just gets worse the more you say it. Um, I do have... I, have smiley I, faces can, on them. I can summon a construct. However, there is nowhere on the card where it says it does anything with fire, so I do not know if I can... Well, Corey already said I can't run faster than the explosion, so I'm out of ideas. I mean, I guess I could, I could summon idea. him. <laughs> I, could, I could summon him Silver it. and we just we put the detonator box in Sticky's room, and he just sits in there, and then we all leave. We send everyone downstairs, and I have him... But I don't know how I would do that. I mean, if we want to go down the whole idea with like, no, oh, well, there's going to be a mass, right? What we could do is rig an explosion underneath the candle in the room. That when they light it, it's actually a fuse stick that goes through the candle, lights through the candle, just blows it up, rigs it all up. If we're trying to bring them in there, that they would self do it on themselves. Well, I mean, we've got Sticky's um, cannon as yeah. well, which is yeah. the little little cannon that they can 
use, I guess. But I guess, uh... Who's they? I'm following Hader's um, line of thinking. I wasn't here. What yeah. is... Oh, the idea is that if we want to get down to the bottom, we would say, oh, there's a, there's a giant warship. And then what we could do is rig one of the candlesticks that they would light if that's part of their practice or something. The candlestick is actually just a fuse that they'd light, and it'll just rip through the candle. And beneath know, the candle, wouldn't... under the table, or whatever, is just a stick of explosives. So that when that fires off, it's just a chain reaction of just explosions down this like line. I mean, would like an underdark cult light candles? Light... Probably not. Like, <laughs> like yeah, make I don't know. Light. I mean, whatever they what do. Is, for like, it, some sort of like we weird, tell them like that... special candle of like a wax that kind of is like a like a. Uh, UV light candle, maybe. No, we tell them. We say, Sticky has set up a party popper for you to celebrate. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I didn't realize I was muted, by the way. Oh, oh, have you been God. talking this whole time? <laughs> I'm like, wait, isn't this a solve no. problem, guys? Like, why are we talking about this? Yeah, the, like, yeah you guys no, already no, solved it. I no, thought I just um... said when I walked away, just find a way to get people downstairs. And you guys are like, so oh, dynamite oh, yeah, yeah. candles. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I Noah brought up. Get them downstairs, and then it's like, uh, yeah. Just telling them about a meeting or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was uh, just like, we wow, don't that have to go hard. A light. So, um, oh, that candle's giving off a lot of light. What brand is it? Uh, not any day. Dynamite. <laughs> so, we could use Beast thing, or like we could just do. If we know it takes twenty minutes to climb up the stairs, it's going to take like more a, than twenty minutes. I was just saying, a fuse would move faster than people. Well, it takes like an hour to device. get back up, doesn't it? Yeah, it takes like an hour. Clockwork device yeah. that, uh, you know, tick, 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 tick. Sure. Clockwork. <clears throat> you guys could you know also it? theoretically have had enough of those kegs to, as you're going up, line the tunnel on the way up. Yeah. And just then just... Main, poof, main poof, 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 poof. Yeah. That'd be easy. But it, we need them to get down first. That's sure. too easy. Yeah, you can send I it down. Can I think that the only ceiling. problem with that is that... Mm, I think that's too easy. Well, that they're it, already it, it like... It could snuff out its own explosion, right? Because if it's going down... I'm, th I'm thinking about this too The intelligence but... <laughs> checks between you and Drell know that you can, you can pretty accurately set these up in a way that they will domino all the way down. Okay. I think that's... The coolest. <laughs> and if you uh, thought of yeah. putting them up the tunnel, did you? <laughs> well, I think that's because even if we set it up before, they're already accustomed to these. Right. They already, already know they're going to be there. Like, right? No like, one's going to be confused yeah. seeing them on the way down. They're just going to be like, oh, it's her little <laughs> happy guys. Yeah. yeah. So, so like, we don't have to like quirky. tell them like, yeah. oh, there's a meeting. Then like rush to like set them up. Like we can just set them up. Now. Yeah. No, you guys are setting them up as you're going up. But, like, the only yeah. thing that I would say you guys run into difficulty with in this situation is if there's a meeting, why are you guys not down there? Why did all of you come up? Well, why is Sticky not down there? Up. Is she not part of being like a prisoner? Why is she with you? Why is, you know, why aren't you guys coming back down with them? Like, oh, we'll follow by in a couple minutes. Why, why are you asking all them questions? Sure, if you want to intimidate and be like, don't ask <laughs> questions, gonna... then go ahead. <laughs> I mean, Dax and Krana can be a part of that too. You guys just have to know what you're going to be doing. So are you guys down with lining them up on the way up the, the path? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to say you guys, through your own means of, of communicating back and forth, when you're ready, you can have Jin, Aphelion, and Simon come in and not be at the gate anymore. Um, what are you guys doing about all the mercenaries who are on the outskirts of the city? Ooh. I mean, once a place goes up, who's going to pay them? You know? So Sure. Yeah. If you want to bank on that, I'm okay with that. Well, I don't see why a mercenary would really care to, like, sacrifice their No, life. they got their money. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So, so we're going to fucking bomb this place and go... Your boss and even is if they like dead. come running at us, like you know, one of the bigger guys of us can scream at them and be like, "You have no allegiance here. Run while you can." Or, <laughs> or also, I did just four. realize, Noah, that that you covered your camera, and I also never had it open. 
on stream and I could have had your camera open when you had it on earlier. That's my it's, bad. It's, it's all good. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, or I what? also have a thing that lets me, uh, uh, you know, disguise myself as the, as someone that I murder. Sure. You murdering someone? Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Who are you? I could have done it to the fucking Minotaur, but I didn't think about it until after. You didn't murder the Minotaur. I don't have to. Oh, it's not someone yeah, you murdered, just a dead person. No, just, it just has to be dead. It has to be dead. As a reaction, watch, when a humanoid dies within thirty feet of me. I don't I I know. Are Minotaurs feet. considered humanoids, even though they're large-sized creatures? I think so. Uh, yeah. Probably. Probably. I think so. Actually, I don't know. I'd have to look at the monster sheet. Uh, in no, Baldur's so this Gate was, 3, this you was cannot an, use Minotaur weapons. So. This was an alpha Minotaur, and it is considered a monstrosity. Yeah. So you would not have been able to use it. This is not a Marador-level Minotaur. So much for an alpha. Is that some kind of furry thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys line the explosives on the way up. You guys all step outside into the light. For a good portion, for, for most of you guys... First time you guys have seen... What time of day do you guys want to do this? Ah, by noon. I think so. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, you guys... You guys all go up. You guys exit. What's up? What's the weather? Oh. Should definitely be raining. Wait, no, what? shut up. <laughs> okay. okay. Just the Is that your bro. ween or woe or whatever? Your way yeah. Or, yeah, okay. Um, Kilo, roll me a D one hundred on a on a one. Hold on, before you roll it, yeah. on a one through, I mean, I could just make it a uh, D four, but this is gonna be more fun. <clears throat> on a one through twenty five, it's sunny. On a twenty five through fifty, it's uh, overcast. On a fifty to seventy five, it's raining casually, and on a seventy five to one hundred, it's a Thunderstorm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ooh. Oh boy, oh boy. Nice. It's nice. Just raining. Nice. It is casually raining. Nice. nice. <laughs> so you guys get to the surface. Nice. It is it is midday, but it is raining. Not heavily, but enough that it's you know semi dark <laughs> outside. A lot of the underdark denizens, even though the sun does work through clouds, have you know a little more lax with their with their hoods and things. But you guys, with the monks by your side and Dax and Kranit, uh, he steps forward and goes. Uh, uh, our, our lord has uh, told us that he wants us to head out soon and and begin our crusade so we're having a grand meeting downstairs or down below um, leave the mercenaries to guard if you have any special belongings you can just come back and get them on our way out but everyone is to head downstairs and be a part of this plan the mercenaries aren't going to be part of this plan. We'll handle them later. And you see that um, most, I mean, all of the, the Underdark being, like the denizens of the Underdark that are here uh, head down. Um, you guys do not know what else is in the town right now. But when it comes to cultists, and I mean specifically common speaking cultists and yeah. Barak's worshippers, they're all down there. Oh. Is there any places, anything you guys want to do, any places you want to clear, anything you want to inspect or check or do before you start this? Can I? Mm. Uh, we said it's raining. It is currently <laughs> raining. I'd say uh, it's not a heavy rain. It's not the kind that would bring you pneumonia. But yeah, think yeah, yeah, a, a so casual rain in an episode of Game of Thrones where it's just like, everything's wet. Oh. Gross. So not considered stormy. No, it is not stormy. No. You're, although, no. if it's cloudy okay. enough, or if you're talking about your call lightning spell, <laughs> um, we'll see when we get there. Because <laughs> no. um. I know that's what you're looking at as a druid. Can call I? lightning is a fun spell. Can I just fly around the sure. town real fast? And get a good are you in disguise? I am in disguise, so it just looks like um, I'm floating. You are to use 
<laughs> I'm gonna say for the hour it took to get up here and this time to fly around, you have two disguised selves that have been used on this day. Okay, I should probably hit long rest. So long rest and then utilize two of those spell slots, whatever spell I slot levels you two want. Two of them today. Oh, it, it's gonna take you, a, it's one spell slot to get up here. And then if you wanna stay disguised as you fly around, you can. You also don't have to if you I mean, feel I don't comfortable. Have to, right? Cause you like, could also, gonna, you have a lot of options. You can stealth fly around if you want. Yeah, I'll stealth fly around. Make me a stealth check. I have advantage. You do have one of those spell slots gotten though. 23, yeah. So you start flying around. Um, What are you looking for specifically? Um, uh, Fucking wormholes, bro. Monsters, wormholes. Not the not the space kind, but the, the actual worm. Make a perception holes. check for me. The worm kind. The worm kind, not the not the theory kind. Twelve. Twelve. You fly around and you sort of grasp that besides the mercenaries on the outside, all of these buildings are abandoned. You don't see any holes for giant worms. You do see unsettled earth from probably some Corspawn or Dolgaunts or whatever, whatever whatever other creatures you guys had like seen, the ones that could burrow and had attempted to escape you before. Um, but with a 12 flying around, none of them are on the surface. There are no giant holes. Is, unless there's somewhere specific you want to look, just a cursory, stealthy fly around. Um, can I look in the temple? Sure. You go to the roof again? Yes. Okay. Roll me another perception check. 15. Uh, you get to the monastery and you find yourself on the roof again looking inside. And while it's very clear that every other building in this town is abandoned, uh, there are three correspond, which is one more than there were before. Five Dolgaunt, which are like the dudes with the tentacles in the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And three of those cloaked zealots currently on their knees worshipping the former Yol statue with the abyssal head in this monastery. They don't seem aware that something is hap going to happen. They are just in a in a state of worship and they have kept their underdark monsters there to protect them. Should we go tell them there's our meeting? I will very quickly fly back and report that there are things still inside the the, the monastery. You guys, Good Noxus lands and informs you. There, so there's these cor the corresponds are there, and they got other monsters and shit. The tentacle dudes are there as well. Make an insight check. Me? Yeah. Uh, Daxon looks a little panicked. He goes, I don't know if I'm going to be able to convince them to go down. Some of those zealots talk directly with Baroxas. I don't, I don't know if I can convey that there came from, came word from, from their Lord. The underdark denizens don't usually talk to him, but those zealots, uh, so what you're saying, hey, uh, Sticky, do you have any extra bombs? Sticky, I'm going to let you roll a, this is a, this is like a luck check. You have her, do you have like a baker's dozen of you, bombs? You can roll, this is just going to be a flat D20. If it is an 18, a 19, or a 20, you probably have enough to blow up the whole monastery. If it is a 15 or a 16 or a 17, you have a couple. If it's anything below a 15, you used up all of the explosives because you guys had not planned to blow up the monastery. 
So you need a 15 or above. Come on. Come on. Come on, 15. Oh, fuck. And because you worked with Drell and you guys rolled so high, I will give you advantage on the rolls. So you can roll two D20s and whatever the higher one is. Big money, no wins. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. There's one. No. <laughs> you guys have no explosives. Oh. However, yeah, really sorry, you guys. do have at your disposal. You guys can plan for this however you want, but you you are under the understanding that as soon as you blow this tunnel, they're participating. You do have five monks. Two of them are at the same level as Daxon, as like they seem very a lot stronger. Two lesser strength, but still well-trained monks and you have the goliath now you can keep them with you you can send them to fight whatever's in the monastery you can bank on killing the worm and just not worrying about who's in the monastery you can you guys decide what you're doing but you do not have excess explosives to take care of the monastery okay. i mean you guys have all of it so you've long rested if you guys have a, an idea go for it does anyone have like a weapon I can use, or just like my stuff? I, I believe all of your stuff is in the, the bag of holding. Mm -hmm. huh. want the, I think he would want that sword. So if you want, there's two swords that are currently being unused. You have the one that's a sword in the stone that is like a club, technically a great club. Hmm. Uh, and you guys have that uh, like thunder blade fucking thing um, that Same. no one claimed. Could I carry both? You can have one on your back and one in your hands, but you cannot wield both at the same time without taking right, a right. heavy part of your turn to switch. Uh, the under overcast so uh, skies right. sword mm -hmm. that you see in, which I don't, I hope, I don't know if I coded that into d, &D Beyond, but if I didn't. What if I try to knock down the monastery? Under overcast okay. skies is an item that is built into D, D Beyond. Ooh. So you can Sick. add that. The only one I think I didn't put in was Unworthy. No, I added Unworthy too. You can have both. You just only have one equipped at a time. I have Unworthy. Okay, so true. Under Overcast Skies was the one you guys got from the Elemental Plane of Air, or the Dragon Fight in Jin's place that no one claimed because it was a great sword and okay. you hadn't thrown your axe into the portal yet mm -hmm. at the time. But. The only thing I'd say I'd do this this morning too, Corey, is uh, Jin would drink his little tonic. Sure. Little what do you? Uh, the one that goes away on a the, short rest. Hilarity. Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, I would say yeah. you drink it when you got up here, not on your, but not before okay. your way up, because you don't want to like just have it wear off. So this is the one that increases yeah, your dex but lowers your wisdom saves. Yeah. What the? Perfect. Okay. I threw my hand axe right. Uh, uh, no. Whatever your big weapon was prior to. I think you threw the axe that makes you scared in the woods. Yes, oh, yeah, you did throw the wood okay. axe. That thing, that is what you chucked. The, whatever your main weapon was is what you chucked into the portal. Go. And then you there just you didn't have a weapon and you weren't worrying about it. And then that sword existed and you chose not to take it. And then you do I have unworthy. I didn't but. choose not to take it. I just didn't see it being picked up. Yeah. It wasn't offered to me. But both those weapons exist. So you can Anyways, add the... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unquip the overcast guys. With. You're going to equip that one? Yeah. Okay. Then I'll have Unworthy on my back. Sure. Unworthy. He's got the sword and the stone sitting on his back. It's pretty cool. It's pretty sick. Nice. Reminded me of uh, Legend of Zelda. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> to the, to the kingdom. So, so, Kilo, make a wisdom check. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. An eight. What wisdom. Um, you truly believe you could just knock down the 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 monastery. Uh, anyone here have a wisdom score higher than fifteen? Um, yes. Oof. Okay, uh, Aphelion, mm -hmm. that's a big monastery, and I don't care. It, it, like he swings at it, you're you're swinging a sword at a a 
stone, like like a well-crafted building, like an architectural oh, no. monastery. This is like, he's not gonna be able to just knock it down. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna use the no. sword. Well, even with the club, I'm saying like you could put you. You're basically wielding a sledgehammer. What if I found like like a weak point or something? You could probably topple a wall. I'm saying you can't take down an entire building like with one really, whack, and you're probably gonna alert them if you really take a strike. Big wall. <laughs> you're not massive. You are not the okay. size of multiple buildings. You could Look, definitely trying. cause damage, but it is going to aggro whoever's inside. Now right, you guys right, could right. go do that and fight them before you ever blow up anything. You have basically an hour for those guys to get downstairs and start questioning why there's no meeting happening. That's true. And I, um, have, I have CC. I can, I can stone people. If you guys have another way to topple an entire monastery and hope for the best, but or. Somebody wants to go invisible. I have that as well. But I save that for myself usually, but it's okay. Oh, this is the greater invisibility, so you can fight while you're invisible. Yeah, I got nothing. I don't know. I can't think of nothing to try and topple that thing Giant. down. Can we oh, just man. go in and surround them? Um, like... And just all, just all at once. I mean, yeah. We just ambush them. I mean, let's walk in the front door. Like, um, hey, what's up? Hey, you guys. You know, we've been here before. We just... Corey, Corey, what's up? Now, now that I'm thinking about my spells, mm -hmm. could shatter, topple a wall. You of the can monster? try. <laughs> I don't want to try. You, I don't want to you know understanding, will. You understanding your own magic, know that if you cast a good enough shatter at the right point, you could absolutely cave in a building. Whether it would kill everyone inside or just do damage and keep them trapped for a little bit or whatever. Like, it would be effective. How effective is up to the rolls. Okay. But it could do. It could do. It could be doing. Because it does we'll automatically run right. max damage on things as like, st or no, disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Nope. Is it max damage? No, a non-magical a non object that isn't being worn. Takes the damage. Takes damage. The oh. damage. You still roll the damage uh, and it has uh, disadvantage on saving throws. Materials, such as stone. Oh. And that's, that's creatures. So the, the, yeah, the yeah. building will take the damage no matter what. It's just you're based on your roll. Oh, okay. I have, the building will have, like wherever you target it, the building and the structure have hit points. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it depends on what you roll. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We'll put that on the back burner. <laughs> sure. Level four shatter. <laughs> you could. I mean, a level four shatter is what? 48? Uh, 5d8. Mm. How many monks you say were in there? Uh, there's no monks, but it's they're, three of the zealots, three of the the zealot. correspawn seers, the ones that had the staves that you guys fought before, yeah. and five of those tentacled dudes that grapple you. Eleven people. Oh, okay. But I mean, if you guys remember the fight from a year ago, uh, those nope. tentacle dudes weren't that hard to kill. They're just really annoying because they grapple you and kind of like disable you. you. Yeah. Uh, and you know that the correspawn seers can burrow. Right. Yeah. Um and that they hit hard oh. but are also kind of squishy. You have no idea what the zealots are like. We don't know. Okay, well, we can take uh, them. Should uh is it hearing the zealot can can um can Jin like I guess recall any info on them if he had learned about them? These are these are a type of person. These aren't a monster. Oh, the type of person. Okay. These so are the I'm people who were in the cloaks that like we're handing yeah. out the money and the one that took yeah. you downstairs that was like annoyed yeah. at sticky. It's those types of guys. Yeah. The, one, the only thing you want to watch out You guys can ask, da ask Daxon if you want. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And what do these Go guys do? Uh, they're like uh, spellcasters. Um, they they Gross. they kind of like attack the brain. Uh, usually try to like rip your sanity apart. And it, it, you know, I've seen, I've seen them make, uh, you know, people who were trying to like defect bleed from their ears. Um, I saw one summon, like black shadowy, 
uh, like spheres of, of cold and pain. Uh, there's there's weirdly like uh, there's one uh, this one guy who I I swear he was able to like take the energy from his mind and shoot it out. Uh, and it, it it incapacitated multiple people. Like they weren't able to move. That's for oh, for a bit. Shit. But only one. It was only there was only one of those guys. The rest of them, I think, are just spellcasters. Because that guy was like the lead guy. Yeah, the correspond used telepathy from my studies. Oh, and those zealots can like teleport around. All right. So what? How this works is we we okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the front of the door. Also, go I did see one squeeze underneath a door once. I didn't think it was possible for a human. I uh, know one of the dudes. Like, I saw him squish himself down. Like, you know, they say rats can, like, condense yeah. themselves and squeeze. Up. I saw him do that. It was weird. What the fuck? It was fucking rats. weird. All right. Big rats. I really want to kill these guys. So how this is gonna work is we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stance up on the door. We're gonna toss a breaching charge on it. We're gonna breach in, and I'm gonna cast. Wait, you guys have breaching pattern. charges? Kidding. <laughs> if you guys have breaching well, charges, I mean, now's the time. Have some dynamite still. I feel. Girl, do you have dynamite? I feel like if I were able to talk to the no. to the DM right now, God, he would say that you guys have brought up Drell having dynamite at least twenty times in the last like four yeah, weeks, and he's dog. never had happen. dynamite. He's never had uh, true. <laughs> <laughs> he's never had dynamite. No, he hasn't had dynamite Dude, in like in like thirty dynamite. sessions. It was like that's, it had I mean, to have been like fair. thirty okay. sessions, okay. like half the I, campaign. I mean, he's not had dynamite. Yeah. I think the last I, I, dynamite he had, he blew up that ship that set up the fire yeah. in no, the forest. No, no, the last dynamite I had, torch. I threw it into the sky realm or some shit. Oh yeah, because you were dropping it into it the box. It was all of the dynamite in a bag, and you had Valxus shoot an arrow at it with a crossbow no. to blow it up. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, that's what I mean, it was. It was the black no, bag of holding. You guys had to no, shoot dynamite, didn't you? No, it was no. the bag of holding ripped, and it created an ash. Yeah, just oh, right. So, yeah, where did your... Oh, was your dynamite in the... Why, yeah, where did your last dynamite go? I thought it was for the airship. We took know, everything out of the bag of holding. You did. Well, I just, he doesn't somewhere. have dynamite because I specifically told him to reduce a charge every single time he used one, and he has no dynamite. I promise you he has no I dynamite. Mean, no, I mean, no, I believe you. I just don't know why. I believe that he doesn't have it. I just don't remember what happened to He's used it. the door? Huh? Oh, no. Would a thunder wave work for the door? You guys don't... The door may not be locked. No okay, one's checked. <laughs> we can try. We can it's try a church door. door. Can I mean... Handle. But, like, I, no, I want to surprise them. I'd like to cast Banishment on the door. <laughs> what realm? <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'd like to cast no, Greater I... Invisibility on the door. <laughs> <laughs> and just peek through. <laughs> the fanny pack of holding is Benga. You guys, you didn't... The new bag of holding you have has not been fanny packified, right? No, it's no, it's just no, a bag of holding. Uh, okay, it's just a regular, yeah, just a normal bag of holding. Okay, so what are you guys it. doing? We gotta get going. What are we doing? Uh, let's just try the door, like see if it's unlocked. I could always ring of the ram it. So we're going in there. Mardor, make a make guys, a right, make a wisdom check. A wisdom check? Yeah. Okay. Actually, or a religion check. Religion, 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 religion. Oh, that'll be great. A ten. <laughs> I, Mardor, I need you to contemplate for me right now. This is you, Cass, as well. Thinking face. How on. how well do you think, as someone who deems yourself the champion of Baroxis, <laughs> that you have the capability to convince the zealots of Baroxis that you know better than they do, and that they should take your orders to go down? To the oh underdark over Ooh. their own Ooh. power and belief in this deity. Go, 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 I go, can go. certainly try. Do you, Mardor, believe that you have that much influence as a oh, worshiper fuck of Broxus? Yeah, I am a gladiator. Okay. That's what I wanted to make clear. If I you want to attempt to convince them to go down, you can do so. She's okay. going to walk in. Dude, does anybody have. Nah, nobody <laughs> has enhanced ability. Fuck. 
<laughs> Jin will walk in with her. I do believe I just a filling on has really that down. as an option. I just don't think you took it. <laughs> I took it off for the day. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure the druids have access, but he didn't use it. I, I don't want to oh like push God. you to have to convince them, Mardor. I just, for a moment, mm. to think as a worshiper of Broxus, who, as soon as you showed up here, everyone was like, they knew you were oh, the real fuck. deal. Do you think, like, it was, do you think you can convince them, these zealots of Broxus, like religious zealots? That you know better than they do, and that you heard from their lord that they didn't. Hell yeah. Um, okay. Can I... very very quickly before we do, I would like to go to the roof, and that way, if it, things go south, I can just hypnotic pattern. I also want you uh, to make an investigation check while you're on the roof. Sure, I'm good at those. And then, if while Marador is going in, I'd like to keep eyes on her. With um, my, sure. Make a thing. stealth check because you're going to be sitting behind the door. Okay. Um, can we make a code word real fast so that I know? Uh, so Iconic code can, word. Go for can, it. You can you can say it in <laughs> in a sentence, and then I'll hit them. When you think things are going to shit, we can say the code word, and I'll hit them with the hypnotic. Pack. What's your phrase, Mardor? Oh man. Uh... You go like Paul Atreides. Silence. <laughs> 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 oh man. Uh. 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 Are the rest of you hiding during this? Because you are going to have 11 creatures coming out and seeing some of you that probably shouldn't be just hanging around. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to yeah. have Sticky just standing where she is for now, unless somebody moves her. Okay. <laughs> Sticky, the one person down here here that might cause problems being at the surface. I like Beck and Sticky. Hey, like Beck. Do you, Sticky, yeah. Sticky, do you want to hide? What? Do you want high ground? Do I want high ground? You want to be on the know. roof? Do I want a girl down the roof? I'm gonna try and carry her to the roof. <laughs> I guess Jin will Make like, a hide check. at the mouth of the door. I'm bad at that. Yeah, you can carry her on the roof. Cool. All right, here we go. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, I guess I'll just have Jin hide at the mouth of the door, like as if they were to if they come running out that Stealth? way. I guess it'll be at the funnel. Yeah. And with your investigation, Valxis, while you're on the roof, there's a good portion of this building. Like, while you're able to look through, like, a hole in the roof that's been 30, caused, uh, you do have the understanding that, like, as a stone building or, like, a brick building, there's a good point you could put a shatter that would have this the roof collapse down on top of on top of them. Whether, again, you know that these creatures can, some of these creatures can burrow. You don't yeah. know how, how beefy some of them are. If they'd be trapped under any of it, how much damage they would take. You just know you could probably cave in the roof of this monastery. Does? That would be so sick. Would the monastery have like solid floors? Can they burrow through the floors of an interior building? You guys haven't really uh, been inside and there's mm, enough furniture and rubble that you don't know. Yeah, you know it, you Drell, told told make a history that. check. I'm good at this. All I... we know from Jin is that they can only. That's a go good question, Cass. I'm glad undisturbed. you asked. If you didn't ask, it would have been very interesting. A 16. <laughs> uh, this monastery had wooden floors. Can't burrow nice. through wood. Nice. Whether it still has wooden floors. Can I see that? Uh, with I your really 15, is. assuming you guys discussed this ahead of time, there's parts of, like, whatever damage has been done in here that there's probably, like, pulled up boards, but from what you can tell, the floor is still the floor that was built here. So, burrowing out, probably not an option unless they rip the floors up themselves. So, anyone else doing anything before Mardor walks in? Um, I guess I'll be across from Jin on the other side of the door. Okay, so Aphelion, Jin, and Kilo are outside the doors. Uh, I need a I stealth check from Kilo. Yeah. So, this, uh, what I would like to do with the stealth check is originally trying to keep eyes on Mardor. Is during her conversation, um, be able to be within thirty feet of her. Um, if that's possible. It depends on how far in Marador goes. Yeah. Um, with those stealth checks, if whether they're rushing out, going slowly out, you guys will have the capability, depending on what they roll, uh, to get out of the way. 
and hide. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep those stealth rolls. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, the only thing everyone's I'm got with the drone? Do What's up? Ignite his dragon scimitar this time and the other shorts. Okay. In there then I'm going to need your stealth check again. And this is yeah. a disadvantage total because now you have a flaming sword on you. No, I was gonna, they're going to be frozen. Okay, well, it's still it's still like a I mean, magical matter, yeah. visual effect. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, thirteen. Okay, so you're you're twenty or yeah, you're twenties now with thirteen. Twenty down to thirteen. Okay, yeah. and then he'll do both. So I'll take <sighs> Marador. You go up to the door, and it yeah. opens. You step inside, and you see the three zealots on their knees praying to this Yol statue. That is, the head has been cut off and an obsidian, poorly shaped, demonic head, which you know as people visualize Baroxas, however they need to visualize Baroxas, okay. is to worship him. Uh, two of the Corspawn are standing at the other sides of the doors. As you walk in, they go to react, they see you, and they stand down. Knock, knock, champion of Baroxas coming through. <laughs> um, They're still in their worship. They seem pretty intent to the point where... Uh, the Dolgaunt seem to be wandering almost like zombies. Like, they have no... Besides taking orders, they just don't exist. Like, they're they're kind of like... Just... just Sauntering around. Uh, in this room. Sort of to be fodder, if something were to happen. Uh, the, the Corspond stand down. There's one Corspond that's like at... Sort of like, not at the altar, but standing off to the side next to the group of three. Um... Are you going to try to make your presence known a little more? Oh, yeah. Ahem. <clears throat> you see... May I... Oh, go ahead. May I have your eyes and your ears? The one in the middle slowly stands up and turns towards you. Again, the way that they're cloaked makes it look so you can't see a single feature. What brings you here during our worship? I am so sorry to disturb you. However, there is a uh, meeting that we are actually trying to get everybody together for. And you guys are the last group, but also I have a great surprise for you. What meeting? Who called it? Well, I am calling this, and so is Draxon. Okay, and what is this surprise? I have a performance for you all. And nobody knows it yet, though. I am here to tell you because you are the favorites. Did you get a new robe, by the way? No, <laughs> I didn't. I love this. It looks extra flowy and creepy. I need to commune with our Lord and find out whether or not we are to attend this meeting. I am sitting here in front of you as the champion of Baroxas, and you are going to de- deny me your presence at this meeting. My performance, I've had it ready just for y'all. And y'all are the only ones who even know it's a performance. Persuasion you're going to deny or intimidation? Me. Your choice. Intimidation. You, if you're threatening him, because it kind of sounds like you are, I'm going to need intimidation. Intimidation. The uh, champion? A cosmic champion. Yeah. The champion. Can you add your cosmic? O- yeah, go ahead. How much? What is it? Another D six. Another. Add My a D six to your intimidation roll. Can I give a bardic inspire? Well, I don't like to know my position. Never mind. I, I roll. <laughs> roll me a uh, Valxis. Roll me a. This is gonna be a 50-50 roll. D one hundred. If it's higher than a fifty, you would have given her bardic inspiration before she went in. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what is your what is your bardic inspiration dice right now? My bardic inspiration dice is I don't know where to look for that. Uh, a D eight. Okay. Yeah. Cass, you can use this D eight now if you would like to. You do not yeah. have to. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. So a twenty four <sighs> on your intimidation. Okay. Okay. We know you are the chosen. If our Lord decided to speak through you, no matter how much it irks me, it must be for reason. 
he turns and just touches like the gnarly clawed hand comes out of his cloak and touches the shoulders one by one of the other two as they stand up and turn and move in unison. Um, it doesn't seem like the the one Corspawn, that the seer that was with them seems to be moving with them. The Dolgaunt just keep walking around and the two Corspawn at the gate don't seem like they're moving. It's almost like they have their orders and they shouldn't be a part of this. You as well. You, 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 you. All of you. Our Lord needs the fodder. It is for everybody. Everyone to our chambers below. And the Dolgaunt all stop moving and it's so creepy <laughs> how they all turn and then just convene towards the door. Uh, everything is moving towards the door for you three on the outside. He's gonna lead them yeah, out. I have the same roles as you guys last week. That was a five, a six, a one. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. A 10. And an 11. All you, you three are still stealth. You can move out of the way. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, ben and Let's Sticky, go. where are you guys? Uh, I got picked up. Sticky's on oh, the roof. Oh, Sticky's on the roof. So Ben, uh, yeah, Ben, where are you? And Drell. Uh, probably hiding inside of a building. Like that's nearby. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just also hiding upstairs here. Okay, you two are just in a building, kind of just like trying to peek over a window or something. Um, the the three of you that ran away and those two on the roof, you guys watch as like, almost like they're in a, a perfect formation, marching their way towards the door. Uh, Daxon and two of the monks are standing at the entrance of the tunnel intentionally. They see this group coming. Mardor, are you following them out of the monastery? No, she held the door for them as they left and then is staying back. Okay. Uh, as as you stay back, the one in the head that was talking to you turns and goes, Is it not your performance? Are you not coming? I must follow after. But the way is after. Otherwise, how am I going to make my grand entrance? Fucking champions. And then just keeps walking. Oh uh, my God. Uh, he, so they all go towards the door. Daxon's standing there. And uh, I would say Drell and Ben, you hear the conversation that happens because you guys are in a building sort of nearby. You hear Daxon mm. go, yeah, man, I don't know. Uh, she she says that there's some sort of thing we need to do, some sort of meeting that Baroxas wants it. Something about getting ready to head out soon. So we're, we're coming down too, don't worry. Um, we're just going to make sure that the men around the gates have their orders and then we'll head down. We'll be there. Uh, and they just kind of like nod. Like they don't even respond to him. They just nod their heads and they start heading down. The whole, all all of them. It's... <gasps> Holy fuck. I'm going to tell you right now, if she didn't roll that D8, oh. she wasn't getting it. No. Uh, <laughs> she wasn't getting it. Did you fucking roll? <laughs> So, uh, it's right now, right now it is, it is, it is Daxon, five, uh, four other monks, the Goliath, who is just like, <laughs> you guys like look over, he's like peeking around the gate entrance, watching from like a massive distance. And as soon as he sees them all go down, like pulls open the gate and just comes bounding in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get sticky off the roof. You guys are yeah. in an empty village. The only people on the surface in this rain are the mercenaries who are patrolling the outside of the palisades. How long are you waiting before you set off everything? Uh, an hour. A full hour. <laughs> oh well, no, I mean, man. I mean, honestly, I'd. Say How long does it take like to get down there again? An hour. It's it's an, hour an hour. Yeah. Nice. I'd say thirty minutes. Thirty, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Okay. Because they're, you know, they're already like that. Where are you? How are you, are you setting off these explosions so that you guys aren't affected? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna um, step in. Um, I'm gonna summon my uh, my little cannon, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna place it. How far is the reach of the cannon? 
Uh, the flamethrower of the cannon acts like the spell uh, burning hands. Okay. More or less. So it's, 30. I think, 15 feet. I'm going to okay. check real quick. But I think it's a 15 foot cone. It yeah, is a no 15 feet. foot cone. Okay. I'm going to place it at about 14 feet just to be safe. Okay. Um, on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, and then. Uh, so he's gonna kind of stand there for a second with like her tongue out and just kind of like trying to sort of do the last little tinkering mechanics on it um and then uh she's gonna step back and then look at everyone and be like okay yeah it's ready so yeah we, we can blow them up whenever we want <laughs> oh, we, we set this off this is um, this is Hello, my buddy, is Simon. Oh, hi, Simon! Just wanted to you know <laughs> he is fighting with so, us today. Uh, yes, yeah, and this is, is the person that will hook you up for more money. And <laughs> nice to friend. meet you, sir. He does a little bow to Valxus. <laughs> he, he put... Uh, <laughs> this is my boy, he Simon. Lo he looks rich. He looks yep. rich. Yeah, um, that's right. Uh, <laughs> he goes, should I uh, get... Big now or no, 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 you can wait. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. Wait for the signal. What's the signal? It'll be. You'll hear it. Obvious. You'll know. You'll know. Okay. You'll know. Yeah, 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 you yeah, can't yeah. miss it. You can't uh, miss it. Where are you guys? Are you guys just gonna stand there? The while this explosion goes off. Away and... How far away are you standing? <laughs> and are all of you going that distance? I'm on a roof. I'm on a roof behind back. somewhere. <laughs> Okay. Jin is going to take cover behind like a house, maybe underneath yeah. Valxis. Be with Jin. Okay. Okay. Take cover uh, you guys all take cover. Um, I will say, uh, Sticky, that when you set this off, it is it is very likely you will not have your Eldritch Cannon for whatever combat comes next. Because it is going to blow up. Yeah. So you won't be able to get that back until your next long rest. That's fine. Okay. Alright. Um Or actually that's not true. You can you can expend a spell slot to get it back if you'd like, and it would be an action. Because it says once per long rest or expend a spell slot of first level or higher, you can resummon your cannon. So okay. this is your free cast for your cannon. Further right. cast today, you'd have to spend a spell slot. Gotcha. Okay. Very so cool. sticky, you ha you have to stand within sixty feet. Mm-hmm. To be able to set this off. Mm -hmm. Is everyone ready? Do I need to stand with Sticky yeah. and then like football carry her like away? You don't have to. <gasps> you can if you That'd want to. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to post up next to Sticky just in case. Okay. <laughs> I need... So, Sticky, is everyone ready? We're doing this. Ready as will be. Okay. Ready, Freddy. Sticky commands... Sticky, how do you command your your cannon to do its little flamethrower? Do you have like a word? Do you have a countdown? What are you doing? Yeah, so her, you know? uh, her countdown is, uh, so on her gauntlet that she's got on, um, there's like a little button on the top, or like a kind of like this long cylindrical thing. And she's got it kind of like magically connected to the Aldrich cannon to explode. And then she's gonna, start counting down from 10 um <laughs> and then get ready to uh um, blow it up <clears throat> okay i feel okay. like sticky would get impatient at like five yes that's sticky, gonna sticky happen, i so want you to do, you, do yeah. your okay. countdown do your countdown okay. <laughs> 10 9 8 7 6 5 5 3 2 1 <laughs> There's a moment of pause, of just silence, as you're all waiting. You, Sticky and Mardor, you hear a fire. Uh oh. Scoop. And there's a moment, there's a moment. You pick up Sticky. First explosion goes off. The entire tunnel that is right next to you guys just fucking explodes. The door comes flying towards both of you. I need Sticky and Mardor to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, shit. Bro. 
on. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just admit, I'm just, I'm just seeing. Uh, saving throw. Is your saving throw higher than a plus two? Oh, uh, let me check. Sorry. Just give me the number. If it's still a plus two, then it's still fourteen. Oh no. Uh, yes, it's still a plus two. Okay, so a fourteen and a sixteen. Uh, I need you, Sticky, to roll me uh two d eight. Oh God! <laughs> okay, both of you save. So both of you take four points of bludgeoning damage as just rubble and rocks come flying past you and like scraping your bodies as it flies by. You run as fast as you can. I need a Constitution saving throw from both of you as well. Constitution save. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're both fine. Uh, if you guys had failed that, you both would have been deaf for the next minute. Um, <laughs> But this hey, first explosion goes off, and it's not like seconds before you just hear a a more muted. Oh shit! And oh, and there's just and slowly like the so the 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 hill breaks. There's dust and smoke everywhere. The dust starts to settle. The rain helping to set it on the ground, and there's just this wet pile of of mud. And as the smoke clears, you guys see the monastery. One of the walls has been like blown inwards, buildings shattered. There's trees that are like de dead trees that weren't wet enough from the rain that are on fire. And the earth that is on the ground that is settled starts to cave in a little. Can I have Sticky put her hands up in the air and say, I win! Sure. Just look the over dirt. at Sticky with like horror and joy. I'm just like, what? <laughs> So the ash and the dirt starts to sink. But you guys can gather that this is from filling in the space that had been tunneled out, slowly just sinking in. You guys all come out from your cover. The explosions have gone off. You hear around the outside of the Palisades, the fuck was, what the fuck, what, what, what people shouting like crazy, <laughs> like trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. You guys like look to the edges of the town. You see people trying to like peek, like the guards trying to like peek through the Palisades, confused. Could I could I use Jin's dragon voice to, to yell out, uh, for those who are remaining, please leave now because the main event is about to begin. Make an intimidation <laughs> check. <laughs> okay. Is that, I, I don't know. I, I guess I have advantage on persuasion or whatever. It's 300 feet for one minute. But... Sure. Yeah. You can make it a persuasion okay. instead of an okay. intimidation. Yeah. 14. Okay. With a 14, you hear that some people are like, uh, you know, I'm fucking out of here. I don't want to get, I don't want to stay for that. This isn't worth the money. I'm just, other people are like, well, hold on. We haven't gotten fully paid yet. We could be here for a few more weeks. Do you know how much money this is? This could change my life. A bunch of people like arguing over whether or not they're staying. <laughs> Aphelion. Yeah. Through all of this shouting as the dust settles, you feel a slight rumbling underneath your feet. It could just be more explosions. Pineapple. It could be the worm. You don't know. <laughs> but there's just I love you. slow, I love you. just <laughs> rumbling. It's drum sand. Oh, God. It's drum sand. <laughs> make a, make a... It's an Al-Gaib. It's an al -Gaib. <laughs> Investigation check. Investigation. It's an eight. An eight. You cannot grasp whether or not this is more explosions because this is now when everything is finally settled up here and just besides mm -hmm. that caving in of dirt, you have no idea whether this is the worm, whether you need to be prepared, whether this is caving in dirt, but just- Do we have any more explosives? Huh? Do we have any more explosives? Uh, I mean, unless there are still the ones that haven't exploded down underneath, then yeah, but I don't think we're going to be able to get those. Okay. Off in the distance, and all of you react as a whole building just sinks into the earth. Oh. Just... <laughs> okay. And just m dirt and mud covers it. It's gone. The whole building's gone. Ben's going to wield his, uh, his blade. I would like to... Um... Rage. Um, <laughs> the dragon oh. likes to rage. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna... ready in action. What are you readying? 
uh, readying to tap my boots to, sure. uh, you know, react to That's whatever. That's a bonus action anyway, so fair, fuck it. Okay. I'm going to take an action to wild shape into the dragon constellation. Okay. Uh, Sticky, you Hi. you watch as... You know, I'm going to let you explain, Aphelion. For the first time ever, Wait. Sticky is watching you be surrounded by the ethereal space essence that you can control. What does your dragon form look like? It's almost like... The skin that does show that's not him, like the vine, the vine armor itself, it becomes like part of the form. And my entire being is kind of just this almost, um, I forget the word, but like translucent where it's, you can see a little bit of ways through, but slightly opaque and about half a dozen to, you know, doesn't have um, a little over half a dozen stars will begin to shine or appear and shine brighter forming almost kind of just like a singular um almost serpent like line starting from like the bottom of my body going up to the top and and around for this particular form he has the celestial dragon translucent form that he takes okay i'm gonna have sticky's first time seeing that Yep, yep. Sticky is going to yeah. be uh, literally just standing there with, like, mm -hmm. jaw unhinged, just staring. <laughs> Everyone Jump make a perception check for me. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone, you it's said? Like, Everyone. Oh, Everyone? my God. I'm good at those. Uh, seeing everybody gear up, Holy Jin will also damn. use the radiant consumption. He'll just... <laughs> I haven't done this in Extra a while. Extra health? Holy is fuck. that what that is? Oh, no, no you're glowing. It's... You're glowing. Oh. Yeah. Uh, glowing. Get, yeah, would anyone just... just uh, are you stepping away from everyone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He'll step forward. He'll... Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, this think... doesn't hurt people. Oh, no, it does. It. Yeah. Okay. No, it so, does. But, yeah. So... Jin steps away from you guys, and uh, Sticky, you see Jin like close his eyes and focus for a second. His blade is crusted in magical ice that you hadn't seen him create when you were on that roof. And slowly, the pale skin underneath the blood marks down his eyes starts to glow, almost like he himself is an explosive about to blow up before it just glows brighter and brighter and brighter. And it's hard to look at him. He is glowing so bright and he readies his weapon. <laughs> Does anybody have a I, pair of sunglasses or those eclipse glasses? I'm gonna pull like a sticky, like with like almost like shaky hands is gonna pull her goggles down over her yeah. eyes. <laughs> and then that's just gonna be like, oh, my friends are so cool! <laughs> Aphelion, Drell, Kilo, and Marador. Oh. That rumbling that has been happening. Two more buildings <laughs> sink underneath mm. the earth. Initially, you guys thought, okay, maybe they're just filling in the space that's blowing up below. But now it seems almost intentional as this rumbling gets louder and louder. You're starting to like feel off balance before bursting out of the ground at your feet. You're all ready enough. Uh, those of you who didn't pass, Valxus, Ben, uh, it just Valxus and Ben, or how many percent? And Jin. I need you guys to make dexterity saving throws. Because this is too fast. Oh, you're on a roof. You're fine. Uh, too I'm fast for you guys to be able to compensate for. 16. And for anyone to shout out. But in a brief He's moment. As well. Yes. Oh. oh no! As Ooh. bursting from the ground, I need to change scenes. Yeah. Change scenes. Oh no! As bursting from the ground, the, uh, the you guys can position yourselves how you would be positioned uh, for this. Um, can you tell me where the uh, building that we blew up was, or like the entrance that we blew up was? Where the worm is. Like where the worm is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like right there. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'd say Marador probably right there. I'm wherever you are. Jim. I'm wherever Marador is because yeah, she will carried be 10 me feet from you. So it'll probably be uh, like a little football. Well, where probably were you? Were we in a building? No, we were or like you guys had come out of the building after the groups had gone down oh, yeah. and the explosions were oh, yeah. happening. But you were a good distance away. 
Um, but you guys like hey, reconvened just... after the explosion had settled. Uh, this just rumbling. Uh, honestly, oh, Ben, oh, you're just knocked prone I'm at the beginning of here. combat. Uh, Jin, you're fine. <laughs> and I'm probably there. So okay, Ben, okay. you just start uh, prone. I'll go here. Yeah. I tripped over and the then, uh, And I'm gonna say here. I'm gonna say the yeah. uh, the monks are all like sort of over here. In, in different places. Um, but bursting out of the ground, this this thing that looks like, if you've ever played Elden Ring, looks like Rykard, the writhing snake, just tentacles and burning and ash and mud and dirt just bursts out of the ground, just <laughs> crazy noises. I can't make good noises, but bursts out of the ground, points like looks at you guys and is ready to fucking fight. Uh, Drell, your boots click before combat starts. It's worm wrangling time. Warm. <laughs> it's worm and time. Hold on, let me get turn order out before you guys roll anything, please. Uh, it's an Alaskan ball worm. Okay. It's an Alaskan Everyone ball click ball worm. your token before you roll initiative, please. Okay. Click. 15. Hell yeah. Oh. Holy! We got a two. We got two twos in there. Dude, got a twenty-two. Oh. Holy fuck! No way! Okay, okay, okay. Oh! I don't know how to do this every single time that you mention it? How do you do it? Click your token. Click your uh, token. Click my and token. Click and then okay. in in D and D Beyond, there's initiative. It should say like plus something. D and D Beyond initiative. Yes. Okay. You click on. It should that. be right next to your armor. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then you'll click the red button in the top right. Ew. Holy shit. A three. Okay. Three. Yeah. That's terrible. Oh my god. Oh, yes. A two okay. and a three. Six. Okay, you hit hard. Which Rain weapon do you have equipped, Drew? Um, the cool lightning sword one. The okay. overcast, overcast guys. Sorry, I have to roll initiative for like four different types of people. Give me a second. No. <laughs> Simon! <laughs> uh, yeah, do you want to call to Simon to go big or is he staying small? Yeah, yeah. That's the signal, Simon. <laughs> His turn will be when he transforms. Oh, yeah. For the next minute, Jin's voice is booming because I, I realized that sure. the <laughs> thing is. Yeah. So everything is insanely loud. Also, if now. you thought the mercenaries well, were going to stick around nerd. before, they're not sticking around now. Once that thing comes out of the ground. This is gargantuan. Yeah. So this thing is fucking massive. Powering. Yeah. Uh, the Sick. only thing that you guys have seen or fought that is bigger than this was the... Uh, the dragon, right? Serpent. But yes. Or in the dream. Yeah. What am I looking oh, for? Oh, This is not oh. a dream. Why is it always got to be the worm? This is going to be sick. <laughs> yeah, Jin's pumped. Dude, as soon as somebody said uh, the main event, uh, Jin, you said the main event, immediately yeah. gladiator mode. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is going to be fucking cool. He is fucking torqued. This is all he lives <laughs> for, the big monster, Not man. <laughs> Full torque. Full torque. Ready to go. <laughs> After this, we gotta get cowboy hats if we make it through, man. Oh my god, worm some wranglers. wranglers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta put a purple worm on each one, like Bro, a little like, insignia. If, if, dude, holy fuck, the worm wranglers. Holy shit. Look at me. <laughs> if we live. <laughs> one of us has to ride, ride it like Al Gaib. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. This Jin, is, Jin has this a samurai is sword. Is <laughs> yeah, this is how Valxus rides Dune. This is how Valxus okay. rides Dune. <laughs> Starting at the top of initiative order, Jin, you are the first to act. This worm stands it's just towering above. It's like head swaying back and forth, tentacles out, like teeth, tentacles, its body radiating a heat unimaginable to you. The earth is caving in beside it, so it's probably going to be hard to get a foothold, but this thing is ready to fight, and you have your weapon drawn. Well, you have specifically your dragon scimitar drawn. I have the dragon and the did other. You both? Did you light both or did you only light? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I okay. lit both and I damaged okay. myself for two. Cool, cool. Perfect. Both, so what are you doing with your turn? In... You said the terrain is like rough. It, like it, it'll be considered in, in like the space, I would say 
within two squares of every direction is going to be considered difficult terrain. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jin is going to position himself and run down. Uh, I have 30. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then six here. Uh, and okay, he guys. will... Um, he will he will just ready ready and uh, he'll just kind of be at the ready for when it gets closer. He doesn't want to walk into its pit. And he'll okay. just kind of wait. It's all ready in action for whenever it gets closer. Drell, you're up. Your boots have already been clicked. Oh shit. Uh. Mardor, you're on deck. Gotcha. Zoom. Does that get me? Uh. So how much can double, you move with so your it's 90 right it is double so it's 90 uh so yeah you can get to it because the last two squares you move close will be difficult terrain okay um i'm just gonna fucking step up to this bitch and fucking stun and strike it let's just get it out of the way okay go for it go for an attack is that just damage whoops no, you have to hit first. <laughs> <laughs> Stunned. <laughs> Twenty-one hits. Uh, what's the what's the saving? What's the save for this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For nine hold points on. of bludgeoning damage. It's thirteen, baby. Hard, hard to be. Let's roll a thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, thirteen or higher. It succeeds on your first strike. Oh, unlike Damn, do it again. <laughs> Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fucking do it again. Okay, this is your off. Uh, this is your second attack as part of your main strikes. All right, so that's two key points, right? Mm -hmm. This will be your second key point to do your second attack. A twenty hits. It succeeds on its saving throw. Damn. So it's not it's not stunned at all, huh? Not stunned currently. No. Damn, that's unlucky. Uh, you have your um, bonus action attack if you'd like. Yeah, let's hit that bitch again with another stunning strike. Sure. <laughs> Three key points down. Yeah. Go for the attack. <laughs> that hits. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. It's saved. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get this motherfucker. So what's funny is it doesn't have a good dexterity. It actually has a negative dexterity, but it has rolled a 17 or an 18 every single time. <laughs> I'm going to get this motherfucker. That's he another got him, he seven got points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you you run up to this thing, and you guys you guys watch Drell sprint past all of you. Uh, uh, Sticky, you see that Drell clicks his heels together and then just like whoosh, past you to the point where like you're blown forward a little bit. Uh, as he sprints forward, runs like slides on the the shifting dirt, and then just starts punching the body. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> get him! Get his ass! Mardor, you're up. Alrighty, Mardor is gonna run. She's going to set down Sticky. Okay. You here? Then just okay. One, Wait, what did two, she say to him? Hey. Four, five. Six. <laughs> you here? No, oh, here is yes, man. Just, just knees to chest, just straight towards like diagonal, kind of to the warm. Mm -hmm. And then is gonna do a bonus action compelled duel on it. Okay, what's the what's the save for compelled duel? Uh, the save yes, for that uh, is uh, wisdom fifteen. Well, the nine. Yes. Can you click so on compelled has, duel for me? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has disadvantage. Or wait, it didn't do the thing. It's fine. Ooh. I can get it on your card. There we go. Uh, <laughs> just that it's didn't fine. even it's explain fine. it. If it used the spell, uh, it's fine. I can I can look at it. Yeah, I got I got Attempt to compel a creature into duel on a failed save. It's drawn to you, compelled by your demand. It has disadvantage on attack rolls against creatures that aren't you. Uh, okay. Yeah. Got so it. it can't move more than thirty feet away from me. It has to try and save each time. Sure. And then she's gonna use her action to oh shit oh my god yeah she's gonna uh, bless. So we're gonna okay. use another. Who are you blessing? I'm, bless. I'm blessing uh, Drell because he is right there. He's gonna need it. Okay, I do want you to know uh -huh. before you use right, bless that these are concent both spells are concentration oh, spells. Oh, so you will lose compelled duel if you blessed. Okay, never mind. Then uh, not that then. No bless. 
Got it. No bless. Got it. I don't need it. We're gonna we're gonna try and get its attention first, okay. and then. Oh God! What's that? What is this? Uh. Damn it! These are all concentration. Why is these you all have concentration? Have a lot of concentration spells. Yeah, I do. Have a lot of concentration spells. Really sad. Um, okay, okay. We'll and then the um, she's gonna do protection for poison on herself. Is that a That's spell? not concentration. Yeah, it's a spell. It's a second level. Oh, you changed your spells. I was like, I'm still looking at your character sheet from yeah. earlier. Uh, sure, yeah. Because um, I have a feeling this thing's going to spit. Just speeder. Okay. Speeders are speeders. Sure. Uh, and that's it's all the got. monk's turn. Uh, Daxon like, looks around terrified and goes, a, a drill! And they all just <laughs> start running. They take their entire turn to get up beside you, but they can't attack. Let's those go. those three get up like near you. That's their whole turn. All the monks are gonna sticky. You're strike. up. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, just machine gun punches. <laughs> just an artillery <laughs> of punches. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Uh. I. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh. Actually. Find... Jin. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You're good. You're good. Sorry. I thought I thought Drell oh. was where Jin was. You're good. Keep going. Oh, okay. Um, I am going to kind of stand there for a second because she was told to kind of stand there. Mm -hmm. um, and then going to try and let me check and see where is my nearest Yeah, um, she's going to uh, pull up her gauntlet, mm -hmm. um, and she's going to have like that little uh, revolver kind of looking uh, spot come up, mm -hmm. and she's going to uh, send uh, three bolts of lightning towards. Yeah, scattered bolts. <laughs> yeah. Roll me three attack rolls with the plus sevens. I think yeah, if you just cast the spell, it'll do all three, hopefully. Uh, a 12 does not hit. Click it again. A 12 does not hit. Click it again. A 17 does not hit. You guys what watch as Sticky holds happened? up her arm, tries to battle, balance her arm, and just three lightning strikes just fire out towards this thing. Holy shit. All three of them just like, this thing's like writhing and looking at Marador, and it just, as it's like slithering around, and you miss all three. You have your movement and your bonus action if you'd like. I'm gonna have her say, fuck you, Earthworm! And then... <laughs> uh... Tiny middle finger up. <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to do, 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 move slightly closer, and uh, she is going to do shatter instead. Is shatter a bonus action? Is it a bonus action? I, I don't think it. so. You've used your action already. Oh, right, 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 right. You just oh, cast a brain. spell. <laughs> yeah, you have your bonus action and your movement, and I don't believe you have any bonus action spells. So no, I don't. Uh, for bonus actions, um, you would have only been able to use your cannon had your cannon still existed right now. So I'm going to have her move. Uh, probably... Jin, did you roll twice? I'm gonna move closer. Gotta roll you, twice of what? Why do you have two initiatives? I only rolled once. Oh, you shouldn't have gone. Why does it say you have a 23? You should have had a 15. 
Yeah, I'm not too sure. I, I was like, oh, okay. I just thought it was like that because I'd use the action to, you know what I mean, to like... No. To glow. So I was like, oh, okay, I didn't really like fuss I just don't it. know how to remove your turn from the turn order. <laughs> Uh, if you I mean, hover, if you want to put me at there, that's fine too. I mean, if we already started with it, we don't. We don't no, to, I'm gonna, you know. I'm gonna keep you at a 15. We're just gonna skip your next turn. Um, I'm yeah. trying to get rid of. Like, yeah, there there should be like a little trash can next to. Maybe it's I don't have it wide enough. No, that's not it. Wait, I only see one. Okay, I see I two gins. I see one at 23 space. and one at 15. Yeah, I don't see that. You don't see yeah, the 23? That. That's the odd part. No, I don't see the 23. Why do I see the 23? <laughs> Can I uh Weird the twenty three the twenty three is on my GM one, but it's not on the That's so bizarre. Huh. Okay. Well ignore that then. You shouldn't have gone first. I was going off my GM one. Um yeah, no worries. Do you want me to move back then? If the no, you're good. You're good. You're good. You right. did your turn. I was just like, oh, I was about to be like, oh Ben, you're up. Uh Jin, you're on deck. Wait a second. Uh Sticky, your turn over, yeah. you moved? Uh yes, but uh question. My homunculus, can I have uh, is that a, a turn to have that summoned? Um. It is. It is, isn't it? Yeah, looking. Yep, yep, yep. It shares your initiative, but it takes its turn immediately after yours. But you'd have to have summoned him out first. So that'll Got be it. on your okay. next turn. Yeah. Okay. Um. Cool. Yeah. I'm just checking one thing on your character sheet before I... Go for it. Okay. Uh, ben, you're up. Very nice. Valxus, you're on deck. Uh, it'll be Jin in between you two after, but... I'm going to stand up. Okay. Half your movement. Um... I think I'm just gonna launch a level three magic missile. Go for it. Fuck up. Uh, Roll the damage. Uh, it's gonna make four. you click it a bunch of times. It's so dumb. I hate how that works. <laughs> I just think four, four more d4. All right, so five plus eight. Yes. Oh, add four, so. Plus four to each 12. one. Oh no, plus one. It's one d4 plus one for each one, right? Yeah. Okay. So twelve plus five, correct? 17? Yeah. 17 points of force mm -hmm. damage. <laughs> Demi. Math, Corey. Demige. Damage. Damage. Omelette de damage. damage. That's, the, that's the math. Uh, <laughs> so, um, Ben stands up and just, from the shadows of his, of his what is your uh, spellcasting device? My blade. Your blade. Ah, points your fucking shadow blade and just these, instead of normally like red, just beams or like little projectiles, just shadows, just and just pelt into the body. It doesn't like it. I mean, it looks like it's doing damage. It just doesn't seem like it's making a big enough dent right now. It's not that it's resistant or anything, just not a ton of damage. Uh, Jin, we're skipping your turn unless uh, Ben, you want to use the rest of your movement and or your bonus action. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that I actually do use a, a yeah, spell casting focus. I have the astral shard attached to the blade. Yep. Okay. That's what it is. Um, bonus action. Uh, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, that's okay. it. Uh, Valxus, you're up with. Uh... Oh my god! It still has the Minotaur in the turn order too. It's so weird what's happening here. Um, it's from Ooh. it's from the last fight. That means there's two Mardors too. Mardor, what did you roll this time? Her. Initiative. For what? Initiative? I rolled a natural 20. Okay, so that one was so correct. Was the other one was a two, and I just can't, unless I wipe the turn order entirely, I can't get rid of the ones. So I'm just going to put them all at the bottom, the ones that are bad. Bad. And then just... Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But what are you doing, Voxus? Um, I am going to cast... Okay, do we think it's good at intelligence or wisdom um, or neither? I think maybe. All we know is it's immune to fire and psychic. <laughs> maybe. Oh, maybe. You did not know it was psychic. immune to psychic. That is you 
knowing stuff you're not supposed to. I said I'm going to fire, and that was Ooh. it. No, Last I week. had it written down here. That's what I got. Did I? I thought I only told yeah. you it was mean to fire, but okay. No, no, no. Oh, good thing. Well, okay. Well, I can't oh. use the other one because that's psychic, so... <laughs> If I said it last week, I said it last week. I thought I had only told you yeah. one of the two, but... No, no, no. Oh, they had spell on me. What are you doing, Valxus? Um, yeah, I'm gonna, ca I'm gonna, ca I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast Hypnotic Pattern on it. Okay. It's, uh... What's funny with that? Cass, do you want us to go with, keep going without you or no? Um, uh, I mean, I'd like to fight. Okay. Um, DC 16. Uh, uh, you find that without even um, a bit of effort, your hypnotic pattern does not work. This thing doesn't have eyes. Ooh. Fair enough. That, that Fair makes enough. sense. Um, well, make an arcana check for me. <laughs> 15? Uh, you probably assume based off of your use of that spell and its ineffectiveness that this thing can't be charmed at all. Cool. Actually, is Compelled Duel considered a charmed effect? Um, it doesn't say charm. It says level enchant first level enchantment. Hmm. I'm a lot more useless than I was before. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, almost all of my spells are fire spells. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's yeah, it's not here. charmed, it's just compelled. So you're fine. Okay. But yes, you it's find that this fun. thing can't be charmed. Okay, uh you have your bonus action in your movement. You're currently uh, flying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bonus action. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna Who do I inspire? Uh who's next? Um, probably. Aphelion, yeah, or yeah. How are you inspiring Aphelion? Dude, I don't, I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> go get him, Aphelion. Boom, got it. Yeah, there we <laughs> go. Got it, man. Okay, you got it. It is the worm's turn. Uh, Drell. Huh? Oh, he has a D8. Yeah, D8. Uh, Drell, you, you get an attack of opportunity as this thing goes to sink below the earth. Yo, yo, yo. Oh Do you have Sentinel, by the way? How would I figure that out? Uh, it's under your features and <laughs> traits. Features and boots, yeah. I don't, I don't Very know bottom, I'm one. checking. Uh, you do have Sentinel, good to know. I do? Oh. Yeah. I don't know what but that means. Roll, your, roll an attack Bro, for me. That is crazy that you've had this this whole time. Oh. <laughs> it means that if you hit an attack of opportunity on an enemy and it actually does the damage, they can't move. They can't you rolled move. a nat oh. one though, which means that you go to punch this thing as it's burrowing underneath the ground and this My thing bullet? leaves a 10 foot tunnel beneath it. You do fall in and you take... Oh. Oh, no. You take 13 points of bludgeoning damage as you fall uh, 10 feet or it, more than 10. Actually, no, you're you're a monk. You you don't take fall damage because you have uh, um, slow fall automatically. Yeah, I'm cool as fuck. So you fall. You're prone, but you don't take damage. Uh, but you're prone currently 10 feet below the surface. As this thing burrows underneath, the monks are going to take attacks of opportunity. <laughs> All of them miss as it burrows underneath the ground and pops up behind Marador. Oh no. Marador, uh, and it's Hi. actually gonna pop up uh, 10 feet away, or like within uh, 10 feet away from you. As it pops <laughs> up out of the ground, it leaves that full tunnel that, so Drell, there's now a 10 foot tunnel in front of you that you could go underground and follow it. But you're Let's prone. Go. <laughs> you're prone. Yeah. The Jesus worm bursts out of the ground, and it first, it first is gonna make a lashed out uh, tentacle attack towards you. Um, okay. Which is a plus thirteen to hit, so uh, twenty five. Yeah. Twenty five. Uh, I need you to make. Oh no, it's just because it hit you. Perfect. Uh, hold on one sec. Roll uh. damage. You take 21 points of piercing damage. 
you are considered restrained. Ouch. And it is going to pick you up in its tentacle and then make a bite attack on you at advantage because you are restrained. Rude. Rough. Uh, that is a 28 to hit, and you take... No, it misses. <laughs> I need you to make a dexterity saving throw at disadvantage because you are restrained. Okay. Oh. okay. You're having a great time. A 14. That is a fail. Oh, no. Uh, and you take... Oh, sorry. Uh, subtract six. Uh, give yourself six HP back. I accidentally rolled 66. Oh. I mean, you meant to roll five. Oh. Um... And then you take an additional. Oh no, she's getting, she's gonna get Kerbo. You take an additional 38 piercing damage on our swallowed oh, yeah. hole. Oh, oh no. I'm into this belly. creature. Um, 38, okay, that's a lot of clicking. Yep, you take that much damage and that is its entire turn. That's a lot of, that's a lot of HP. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm Mardor on the inside. I, Mardor, I'm, you are I'm currently Mardor. What you currently feel, you are you are being. It's like someone struck you in a in a tight furnace. You are burning. Oh, it's hot. You are blind. You are unable to. You are restrained, which means you can make attacks. You'll just be at disadvantage. Yeah. Or, yeah. You are. Can you make attacks yeah. at all? Um, yeah, you have disadvantage tax. You are you okay. can't move. You have disadvantage tax. You will be able to attack, but you're inside this worm. It is you are blind. You cannot see. Well, I have blind fighting. <laughs> That's good. That's very good actually. But you're still restrained, so you're still getting the disadvantage. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, that is this thing's whole turn. Uh, it's those two attacks, and and uh, it is now the other monk's turns. They can move. Somebody punch it in the mouth. Fuck, I hate when the encounter <laughs> thing. You have to leave though, don't you? Is uh, everyone yeah, okay yeah. pausing this combat and picking it up next week with Mardor being swallowed whole so you guys can all <laughs> strategize what you're gonna do to try to I'm save Mardor? Cool, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will I will just finish out the monk's turns as they're gonna sprint 5, right. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then this one up here, as they're gonna get close, but uh, this, where it burrowed now, is not difficult terrain, only the original pit, which had all of the exploded dirt, all unsettled, mm -hmm. that all caved. Where it comes up now, no difficult terrain around it. Um, but those monks are gonna take their action and their movement to sprint up and not be able to do anything. And as we get, actually, we'll finish up just one round. We'll do one full round. And then we'll end. Okay. Okay. So Aphelion, you're up. Kilo, you're on deck. And then Simon can follow. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do Call Lightning at max level, which would be fourth level. Fourth oh, level shit. Call Lightning. Cast it for me, my guy. Uh, this oh isn't going to be max God. damage. Actually, you know what? D100, you get in the top uh, quarter percentile of 75 to 100, and I'll consider it stormy enough weather. 92. 92. Oh, Story enough know. weather for your call lightning. Um, so yeah. your call lightning at fourth level, is it auto max damage? Is that what happens? No, so it's an additional D10. So now it's at fourth That's level, it's 40 so 30 damage total. It'd be one additional D10. It already did it. It rolled it in your damage there. It's a 25 plus five. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so it did it for you. So 30 points of lightning damage as you <laughs> see, you guys see the clouds above that are casting the rain slowly start to like move in, in awkwardly in one direction to coalesce above this thing's head. Those clouds darken as the thunder just roils out and a single strike just <laughs> lands on this thing's head and shocks through the body. Marta, for a brief <laughs> second, you can see and then it's gone. Uh, <laughs> I'm super puffy now because I, uh, I'm staticky. Yeah, you, you get all staticky. It's like hot. It, like First of all, it's hot and wet in here, so you're a little frizzy already. And then just electricity <laughs> surges through, and your wool is not having a good time. Um, <laughs> I look like I'm straight out of a disco in there. Absolutely. Uh But yeah, yeah, that's a good point of damage. You have your bonus action and your movement if you'd like to use it. I like I like the lightning bolt. Oh, I didn't even. I'm sorry. I didn't even make the save. It failed anyways. It doesn't matter. 
Okay, <laughs> I didn't even roll the save. Its dexterity is god awful, and a 17 is real hard to hit for it. It has yeah, to roll. Too. I'm going to tell you right now, it has to roll a nat 20 to hit a 17 DC save. Uh, dex save. Nice. Okay, so I'm just going to no. there. Dex saves, man. It's, it's not a very dexterous yeah. creature. It's way too massive yeah. for that. Yeah. Who would have saw That's that coming? <laughs> That's fair. There's 30 feet of movement. Yeah. Move into that rock. Any bonus that action use? Oh nope. Okay, Kilo, you're up. Okay, I am not attuned to the sword, so I can't do anything. Uh, cool you would have taken your time equipping it beforehand to attune, so you can just. Like I said, I am yeah. attuned to the sword. I'm not gonna have you so... be fucked over. By that. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move up here. Okay. And take some swipes. No raging. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, that's just not how I play. Okay. He just doesn't rage. It's yeah, not like not we... a bad guy. Yeah, it's not a guy. Go ahead and make your attacks. Give me, give me a reason, buddy. Uh, swallowed Mardor whole? <laughs> yeah, swallowed Mardor. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> no, no not good enough. I mean, she's cool enough. This man <laughs> asked me to help uh, to build out his, his rage table to 20 rage effects that he could possibly trigger, and then he just doesn't rage. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Look, man. Go ahead, we'll make your attacks. We're going to need to provoke him. That was a lot of dice. A like, 19 like hits. I need to make sure I fully understand the weapon yeah. just to make sure I know what damage is being uh, cast. So give me just a second. Yeah. Okay. Let me... So you have a plus one to attack. Suffers an extra D6. All the Lightning time, damage or thunder. Your choice. <laughs> Lightning. Okay. So <laughs> uh, on a rainy day, you have uh, two max. You have plus two max charges because it is raining. Um, oh. Um. It's not an action for you to do the call lightning out of it. Um, That's crazy. I'm looking, and I don't. I don't even see that. It just says you can expend charges to cast call lightning additionally use a bonus action to expend one charge but it doesn't even say use an action to do the lightning flash hmm. which is to expend a charge so I, it it's just a bonus it. action right well it says no it says this blade long speed united with the skies you can expend three charges to cast call lightning or lightning bolt while holding it additionally you can use a bonus action to expend a charge so it doesn't say you use an action on the oh. first charge or the first thing, but I mean, I'm gonna assume, I'm just gonna it call it an action. Be. It has yeah. to be. Um, it has to be. It'd be so yeah. frizzy. Okay, so yeah, you do. Uh, it's not 21 total because it it shouldn't separate the lightning and the thunder because it just does either a d6 of lightning damage or thunder damage. So you do 17 <laughs> points of damage to this thing. Nice. With your first attack, because you uh, have two of those. Right? Uh, yeah. Okay, you I'll do have one. two of those. Um. 17. But can I rage on this one? Um, so just because you didn't know, I'm going to allow it. But in the future, if you are taking the attack action, you have to make your two attacks. I know it's not like Baldur's Gate 3. You have well, to make your two attacks in a row. And then your bonus action will be a separate thing. Because you're using your action to do your two attacks. And then your then bonus action is something else. I'll let you. I'll, no, attack. but if you didn't know, I'll let you bonus action. I'll let you rage before this started. Nope. Do it. Do it. Do it. You want to rage at the end? No. Yeah, you can rage at the end of your turn too. Doesn't matter. Nope. Okay, so no it's raging not. at all. He's just not raging. He's just he thought about I'm it. Legit. He has it no, you he doing it legit, you can still it. rage after your attacks are over. Up to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do your second attack. Stubborn bitch. I'm gonna minor image your dead friends, Kilo. <laughs> that would be <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. A twenty two <laughs> for thirteen points of damage. That'll get you to rage. <laughs> That'll get something out of you. Okay. You guys, you you see Kilo pulls out this sword and as the lightning strike from Aphelion strikes down, the yeah. lightning goes through its body and then connects to Kilo's sword as he strikes twice into this thing. Pretty calmly. Just, you know? Just, just do my job, you know? Yeah. Anything else in your turn? No, that's it. Okay. Uh, the Goliath Simon's turn. Simon is going to take his turn to transform. He's using his action to polymorph himself into a large polar bear. Yeah. So, boop. Hey, yo. Go polar Simon. bear. It's a polar bear person. Like he's polar person. Yeah. Um, and he is now a were bear who has thirty feet. So, 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. He's going to get here and be outside he's, of Jin's range. Uh, and that is his he's, turn. What's up? He's Volley Bear from Hit Game A League of Legends. Lol. Yeah. <laughs> and as we begin the top of the round, <laughs> we end the session there. A Marador swallowed, a cult blown up, a worm <laughs> attacking. You guys are fucking lucky that you sent everything down below. Worms having a good time with Marador. Which, worms um, having a good meal. Yeah, just gonna we're having there dinner. inside I'm, worm. You're inside worm. He's had me um, over for dinner. And we're gonna end the session there. Well, Very scary. A lot of damage. Well, he's celebrating the snap of the cast. Bye. And stream slash recording. That's uh, where we're going to wrap up for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll be back with the rest of this combat next week, unless people have problems that I don't know about. Yeah. I have a lot of problems, but they shouldn't affect. I said that I don't know about B. I know about all your problems. Uh, oh! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's what we're going to head out for tonight. Hope you guys enjoy. Yes, next week. Is that the week you're gone? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, that's, uh, that's only I, one. I, only one. No, no, no. Oh, it's it's fine. fine. I'll have a computer. Okay. Well, so. we'll see you guys all next week. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye forever. Am I accepting <laughs> that one? Okay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs>